was Chris. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? Mer Merlin's beard. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh shit. Playing on hardcore mode too. Hi Thomas. I said hi. Thomas. That's a, that's a good name. Strong man. Strong name, Thomas. Where is she? Oh, the guard of her. Oh. Thomas is upstairs, upstairs. Calm down! Reason now! The power of Christ compels you! Oh, fuck me. Oh, my God. It couldn't get any worse than this. This house is sick. Oh, it's a village! Let's go, little village. Let's, let's massacre some some little villagers. Let's fucking kill them all. Let's fucking kill all these fucking villagers. Hello? Oh, it's my house. Smuggling in a little bit of counterfeit money, are we? You know, uh, that holds the death penalty at my border crossing. You threw it! You threw a frame at me again! So fucking- No! I'm trapped in this! I'm trapped! <laughs> that, was, that was traumatic. I won- I got two dollars out of that. Does he chase us straight away? Or do we have to like, aggra aggravate him? I think we might have to aggravate him. Oh! I didn't think he'd get up straight- Hello! Hello everybody! How are we? I hope we're all doing very well. I'm doing very well. It has been... a while. It has been... Uh... God, it's like a week since I went last... I last went live, but uh... Welcome everybody back. We are here once more. Um... I have a new shirt on. Very cool. I literally got this yesterday. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, if you couldn't tell by the title of the video, we are going to be rizzing up some AI chatbots this stream. You may be asking yourself, the, what, the, what the hell does that mean? Um, if you guys remember one of our uh, last streams, we played a game called uh, Suck Up. And it was an AI game about uh, being a vampire and trying to uh, trick these AI chatbot things to like, you know, invite you into the inside. And um, uh, the creator of the game actually commented on the VOD and was like, oh, I really enjoyed you like watching it. Stay tuned for the update. I think you'll enjoy it. And I was like, ominous. Okay, cool. Um, and I checked the, the update has come out and it's called um, Love Bites and it's a whole new game mode. I haven't played it yet. So I actually don't know if this is completely true. But just from the title, I'd imagine, again, haven't seen it, haven't played it, don't know, but I think we do the same thing, except we try and get people to fall in love with us and, and date us. I think. I actually don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's what the game is. So, but we'll find out. Um, but yeah, what did I get up to on the week that I wasn't here uh, streaming? Well... First of all, I had to go to the dump because I had to roll up my fucking rug, which actually isn't my rug, it's Mitch's rug, and throw it in the tip because this this little guy down here, this this guy, that guy right there, shit, all over it, pooped it, po pooped the, the whole rug. I don't know why, I don't know why. Shit the whole rug. So, um, and I, you know, he's, he's pissed on it before and I was like, it's all good. I can just clean it. It's fine. And, um, he shit on it like four separate times. Don't know what was going on there. Um, and I get, I get the, this may be too much information. I get the like toilet paper roll 
to like pick up his shit. But instead of it being solid, as I go to grab his shit, it like squishes and sinks into the rug and it's like a furry, it's a furry rug. So it instantly just melts into the fur and I try and clean it up and it just spreads and squishes into the whole rug. And I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, no, sweet. Um, yeah, I'm not cleaning this. Um, and so I cleaned up as much shit as I could possibly do. And then I like rolled it up and I was like, all right, fuck this. I'm, I am throwing this in the bin. And I did that the next day. And then, uh, whoa, gentle 285. Thank you for the 2000, I don't know, H H U F. Thank you so much. It's, uh, oh, here we go. It's time to win a briefcase full of BJ's and a fruitcake from Sweet Cop. <laughs> Happy late birthday, Jackson. Oh, yeah, it was my birthday, too. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It was my birthday on the 13th. Thank you for that. Oh, man. Briefcase full of BJ's would be, be damn good right about now. But uh, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, he shed all over the rug and, he, and I, I smudged it in by accident. So I threw it out. And I was like, all right, I got to do something about this because the landlord doesn't, uh, wouldn't let me have a dog or wouldn't install a doggy door. So I was like, fuck. Um, but he said I could put, I could take the door off and I could put a new door on, which is crazy to suggest, but that is exactly what I did. I went out to the store, I bought a new door and I, I fucking put that thing on. Okay, originally I was going to get a carpenter to do it and I was like, I, I like went on Airtasker and I was like, hey, like, can you fucking someone put the door on and also cut the hole out and put the doggy door on it. And people, the, one guy quoted $679 to put a door on. And I was like, no, no, I am not doing that. So, um, you know, I don't know if you guys know this about me, ex-tradesman. Uh, I've been around the block a few times. I got to... I got a couple of couple of tools in the old shed, so uh, I dusted them off, and I I was like, "Fuck my life!" I didn't really want to do this, but I was like, "All right, I'm gonna put the door on." And um, unfortunately, the door needed 10 mil cut off it, which is about this much for you Im imperial freaks. Um, and unfortunately, it needed that 10 mil cut off long ways, so I had to cut two meters of a door just to get 10 mil off with a handsaw, might I add. I didn't have a power saw with me. I didn't bring one to Melbourne. All I had was a handsaw. So it took me like a cut that would take like 20 seconds. Took me maybe half an hour <laughs> doing this. Fuck. Hey Pookie, <laughs> don't look at the newest review of the Jackson Field Park in Michigan, USA. P.S. Happy birthday, sweetie. Bye. Thank you. What is it? Jackson Field Park. Michigan? Is that how you spell Michigan? I don't know. Oh my god, it's got 1700 reviews. Alright, let me check the reviews. Let me check them. How do you even view all Google reviews? Alright, let me hack the system newest. <laughs> okay, let me just pull this up. <laughs> um... Okay. Fudge Boy, the newest review of Jackson Field in Michigan Avenue, Lansing, Michigan, United States. Is this field named after Jackson Field, my pookie bear? Dot dot dot. And it has it. It already has one like. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that, dude. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Um, I wish. I wish I had a park named after me. I remember when I was a kid, I Googled myself once and I was like, oh, I bet a photo of me is going to come up. Just fields. Nothing's changed. Still fields. Just heaps and heaps of fields just come up. Um, but yes, yeah, so I sawed this door. My God, what a fucking nightmare that was. And then I had to chisel out like the parts for the hinges. And I only had a rusty chisel that I've used like twice. Chiseled that bad boy set everything in place and by god this fucking door look at that see that? that's it right there see this doggy door check this check this out guys check this out chat also leg leg check oh yeah we got my le anyway um 
Let me put on my my Crocs to walk over here. Check this out. Let me let me move this light over here. Oh shit. Hang on. Jesus. Look at this. Look at this. Look, I'm outside. Oh, I'm going outside. Oh. Doggy door. It works. See that? The door only slightly gets stuck when you try and shut it. Pretty good. It's whatever. I'm literally like the best freaking carpenter ever. Don't fucking spam yump. What the fuck? What is wrong with you people? Jesus. Well, I bend over once. You sick. You sick bastards. Did you say he looks well seasoned? What the hell is wrong with you guys? Why? 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 You know, this, this is why we... This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't do anything fun. Like, oh, I'm gonna pretend to go through the doggy door without getting sexualized. This is bullshit. It's ridiculous. You guys, you guys need, uh, you guys need hobbies. <laughs> you guys need to get on, uh, <laughs> you guys need to get on a dating app. Um, so I can make fun of you on <laughs> the next dating app video. Um, that's <laughs> only, only if, only if you Photoshop, uh, Actually, this is, that's if you guys haven't seen the new video, it's probably it's probably a bit weird. Only if you guys Photoshop your penises to be, you know what? Don't even worry about it. I don't need, I don't know where I was going with that. You guys got you gotta watch the new video if you haven't seen it. Um. <laughs> anyway, I built this door. I put it on. It took like, I I, I it took like maybe three three hours to do. I even changed the lock over to this one. Where is it? Where is it? Right there, change the lock. So anyway, felt pretty accomplished. It was pretty sweet. And then, and then it was my birthday. I did that, I did that. I think I did that on my birthday, uh, which was cool. I finished putting the, the door on, on my birthday, which was sweet. And uh, I went to the zoo. I saw some zoo animals. Unfortunately, it was the middle of like a heat wave in Melbourne. So that most of the animals were, were not there, which kind of sucked. Um, I really wanted to see the gorillas. I only saw one and it was just kind of chilling there. And then, uh, and then I went and what else did I see? I saw some giraffes. I saw some elephants, dude. I saw the elephant. Okay. This elephant, I know everyone like laughs about, oh, look the elephant. Look at its penis. This, I thought I'm not even kidding. Straight up a second trunk. I honestly thought it was a fifth leg and it was moving independently. It was like, I don't know. It was fucking weird. It was fucking weird. I got a video of it too, which is even weirder, I think. <laughs> Amanda, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Oh my God. Get some W's in the chat for Amanda. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Let's go. Thank you so much. Damn. Um, anyway, back to talking about uh, uh, penises. <laughs> um, elephant penises. I saw some elephants. Um, I thought there was going to be snow a snow leopard there because apparently the Melbourne Zoo has a snow leopard. Insane. Didn't even really realize that there were any in captivity. Uh, but it wasn't there, I think, because of the heat wave. Um, didn't get to see any of the lions. I saw the ass of a tiger. I saw literally like, I was like binoculars on, peering over right into like the corner of the exhibit where the tigers were. And I just saw one like under some bamboo just kind of like lying there and i can only see the back of it and i was like that counts that counts as seeing as uh, seeing a tiger yeah that's fine yeah okay i can say I've, i saw a tiger that's cool and um yeah it was uh it was good it was it was cool um i wish i i wish i saw more animals but they were all kind of hidden away because it was so hot so fair enough i saw a couple of monkeys that was cool i wanted to see the orangutans orangutans orangutan I wanted to see the 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 Mitch monkeys, but there 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 weren't any there again. Bloody fucking heat wave. It was also like during the week too, so I think they literally like don't bring some of the animals out during the week, which is really weird. But yeah, I did that, and then I got home from the zoo, right? And then there was like a fucking torrential storm. 
It was like a torrential storm that knocked out the internet and the cell towers. And most people lost power. Thank God I didn't. I still had power on my birthday. Thank God. Um, but <laughs> it fucking knocked out <laughs> the goddamn cell towers. So I couldn't use the internet. I couldn't reply to anyone that messaged me. Um, like happy birthday or whatever. And I missed like calls from like uh, family members and stuff like that. And I had the worst part of all, I had to watch free to air TV. I watched like an hour and a half of Married at First Sight. I saw I saw the end of a deal or no deal. Uh, where uh, there was some other fucking show on. I watched Stephen Fry talking about World War Two and the Nazis. It was crazy. Free to air TV. Honestly, thank God it's still there. You know. There was a long time there where I was like, what's the point of even still broadcasting? Like, who watches this? People without internet. So, yeah. Anyway, that was fun. And then, um, and then lastly, before we get into the game, I want to address the elephant in the room, guys. Um, if you saw Ryan Trahan's latest video, you would see that he spent 50 hours wearing a headset. Son of a bitch. You know, uh, a VR headset. And I did say before he uploaded that video that I was going to do the same thing with an Oculus Quest 3. Actually, I had already done it and I was e I'm was i editing it. I was like, bruh, I've, I've already done it. Just so you guys know, just in case someone copies it, someone, someone else uploads a video. And then not even three hours after the stream finishes, Ryan Trahan uploads a video. Fucking bullshit. Anyway, still editing that video, so it'll be out like probably next Sunday. Um, Cohen, thank you for the 11 months, dude. Oh my God. Um, when are we going to see you res up the Ohio Gat citizens as a Sigma Skibbity? Don't forget to phantom tax there. Oh my God. Thanks, Cohen. Damn, 11 months, bro. Fucking hell. That's a, that's a long time. That is a long time. And uh, straight up, guys, I'll be real, okay? I watched Ryan Trahan's video. This may be controversial. I don't think he really did it. I think he faked it. I reckon that whole video, fake. I reckon it was bullshit. And you wanna know why I think it was bullshit? Because I wore it. For 24 hours. I wore an Oculus Quest 3 for 24 hours. I wanted to fucking... There's no way he could be that happy and positive after 50 hours. Ooh, and then we have the big headset. Me, 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 me. Oh, it's so fun. Look at me. It's so goofy. I'm a little goofball. I get 40 million views a video. Well... Maybe, I, maybe I'd be that happy too if I knew I was going to get 40 million views on a video. But straight up... Dude, I don't reckon it was. I don't reckon that was legit. I I hated my life with that headset on. There is no way he did that for fifty hours. Just saying. And I know that he didn't because the Oculus Quest has a hundred and ten uh, degree field of vision. The the Apple Vision Pros have like a ninety degree field of vision. So it's worse. It's a worse experience. Like wearing it and like using it 24 7 and uh and i just i just know that uh he didn't do it because there's so many really good shots in his in his video and i'm like he definitely took the headset off to position those shots and half my maybe hey maybe i'm just incompetent half my shots look like shit because i'm doing this with the headset on and i'm looking through a four megapixel camera and i'm going i think that's framed up right yeah, that should that should be that should be fine. It's bullshit, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. Anyway, I just wanted to get that out of my chest. So, just wanted to just wanted to get that out of my chest. Ryan Trahan, I think that was fake. I think it was fake. Your little oh, I'm gonna do 50 hours of screen on time. I think it's bullshit. I think it was fake. I think you put a bit of sticky tape over the sensor that sees if you're wearing the headset or not. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Um, yo, Box, thank you for the 10 months of membership too, dude. Oh my God. Monday left me broken Tuesday. 
was filled with hoping Wednesday my empty arms were open, Thursday waiting for love, times two ran out of words. <laughs> Taxi emote? Um, dude, thank you for the 10 months, dude. This is Ryan Trahan fella has nothing on Joe. <laughs> and that's, and you know what? And that's why, and that's why I, uh, that's why I rant all my problems and issues to people online so I can get an echo chamber of my own opinion fed back to me. So thank you guys. Please continue, continue telling me how right I am and how wrong Trey, <laughs> Ryan Trahan is. <laughs> that's what, that's the kind of parasitic, uh, relationship we should have Par parasitic parasocial relationship we should have um ranting online yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna say something controversial <laughs> all right so um let's boot up this game let's give it a go let's see how let's see what happens um god fucking Flawless coping strategy. Absolutely no issues there. Honestly, can't see any issues. Can't see any... I don't see any issues doing that. Just... Just ranting to chat about things that, you know, I actually know nothing about. Maybe he did do it legit. I actually have no idea, but... Um, I don't believe he did. Personally, I like... And, and just knowing, I guess, like... Having made YouTube videos in the past and stuff, I know how difficult it is. And to do 50 hours like that, I don't believe it. Did you see Airac faking vids? Yeah. yeah bro. Look, hey guys, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real with you all right now. I think everyone fakes vids. Me? <laughs> I don't. I don't fake anything. I don't fake anything. I don't know. Everyone but me fakes things. Look, legit, I I did this Oculus One and and I think it would be a better video if I did fake it. And that's just the straight up truth. I think I think it would be a way better video. And even like I did the 24 hours reading challenge thing. Didn't fake that. Again, probably would be a better video if I did fake it because I could drum up drum up more like intense suspense or whatever but i sat there the whole fucking day reading a book three four books or whatever it was so i reckon mo i reckon i reckon a lot of those challenge videos are definitely fake <laughs> or at least not as truthful as they might lead on to be what even is faking vids isn't it the same isn't it the same as making vids faking like as in like faking a challenge you know what i mean like oh i'm gonna spend the next fucking 10 days uh, with my fucking shoelaces tied together. Definitely took his shoes off at some point. Fake. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's get into it. Um, all right. Let's play some Love Bites. All right. Um, let's see how this... I don't even know what the, the premise is. So let's see if I was right in saying that it's rising up AI chatbots. Um, yo, Joe, thank you for the six months, dude. You got the gold badge. Gold badge, baby. Can't believe it's been half a year already, man. The time has flown by. By the way, happy 26th. You got a present. The present is me. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. I appreciate the present. Can I have, uh, uh, I want to, I want a gold watch, please. Can you, can you, I'm going to drop the PO box. Can you get, can you send me a gold watch? <laughs> Uh, Finn as well. Thank you for the six months, dude. Far out. Well, well, well. Golden badge. Keep making vids and keep dogging on Riot. Ryan insert famous quotes. Also, Ian Boggs. Oh, shit. It's... Was that Ian Boggs has been chilling here? Love you, pooks. Ian Boggs? Who's... Wait, who is... One second. Admit it, pregnant Sonic was hot. Big man, thank you for the eight months, dude. Look, bro. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna, like, confirm nor deny but you know i don't know bro you tell me you tell me i'll let you come to your own conclusion with that one there um okay <laughs> all right let's get into it let's let's get into it <clears throat> i'm gonna chat with emojis to find oh ian boggs damn dude all right okay cool <clears throat> let's let's get into it let's get into it cohen fuck me I just play the game, guys. Go just play the game. Come on, stop talking. You're 
breaking the mewing streak. Sorry, my bad, Cohen. Let me lock in real quick. Suck up uses AI for its game mechanics. Before proceeding, you make sure you create an account or log in. But all right, bro. Just once, just one second. Let me just log in real quick. God damn it! Fuck. Come on. What did I use? What did I use? If I was an AI, what would I use? I think I used. That one. I think. Stop talking. You are breaking the mewing streak. Shushing face. <laughs> my bad, bro. Um. Minty, thank you for the eight months as well, dude. Jackson, stop lying. You're faking your hair. We've seen your balls. Shut up, bro. You shut the fuck up. You shut up. All right. Okay, okay, okay. We're in now. We're locked in. All right. The rules are as follows. Convince guests to break up with their loves. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Deliver breakup letter and give them advice okay okay watch the drama you caused unfold all right let's break some hearts um chat mic excellent full screen mouse and keyboard we're looking good oh my god we're looking real good so do we oh okay okay we do have costumes i might put some hair on not gonna lie um <laughs> what did i do uh, okay, we got a therapist outfit. All right, and uh, an actress. <laughs> okay, Grandma Maud. What the hell? Grandma Maud is a ha in a happy relationship with Charles A. Boomer. And hello there, darling. Happy Valentine's Day for me and Charles A. Boomer. Um. <clears throat> well, yes, a happy Valentine's Day to you, Grandma Maud. You know, um. I hate to be the one to tell you this, but uh, Charles A. Boomer slapped my ass. Oh, damn it. I ran out of time. I ran out of time. <clears throat> Let me try it. Let me try. Let me try again. <clears throat> well, a happy Valentine's Day to you too, Grandma Maud. I hate to be the one to bring this news to you, but uh, Charles A. Boomer hit on me just before. Oh, fuck! Ran out of time. Well, a happy Valentine. What the? Who the fuck is that? Why is there a Minotaur behind you? Oh, sh no. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. 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 I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to send that. I didn't mean to send that. Grandma Maud, no, please. Oh, fuck. People are more likely to listen to someone they trust and like. Yeah, and, and don't swear that. Beast? Can I talk to Be- Oh, okay. There's a happy relationship with Belle. Oh my god. What in the realm are you supposed to be? Intruding our Valentine's party like this? Uh... I'm sorry if you feel like I'm intruding, Beast. Uh, I'm actually a love expert. Uh, and... Yeah. <laughs> I, I panicked! I panicked! I didn't know what to say. A love expert, huh? Well... What would a love expert be doing at a Valentine's party? Meddling in other creatures' affairs? Oh, oh dearie. I would, I would not dream of meddling with anyone's uh, affairs. But I am an expert. No, I'm, gonna I'm, gonna fuck, I'm gonna fuck with this whole, uh, whole concept of real reality here. I got the beanie on. Hang on, let me... Let me just... Let me just, uh, bring this. Oh, see ya, Ian. All right, let me just bring this up. The tinier the beanie, the better the gaslighter. We all know this. We all know this. Okay, that's a tiny beanie. All right, we're gonna gaslight the fuck out of Beast. Whew, okay. Uh, an expert, you say. Tell me, love expert. How can you be so sure of your expertise in matters of the heart? Um, uh, you ever heard of a little couple called Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie? Well, let's just say I knew that they would get together because I'm an expert. <laughs> I was, huh? Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, you say. Oh, intriguing. But how can a mere festival goer like yourself claim to have such insights? What? Uh, what, what even, what is he talking about? What is he talking about? Uh, uh, um, because why are you asking so many questions? What's to say that you're an expert at anything yourself? Why are you questioning my expertise? Huh? Bitch. 
I see a point of festival go. I suppose I have my own doubts and insecurities when it comes to the matters of the heart. Tell me more about your experiences with love and how you became an expert. Oh, my friend, there aren't enough hours in the day to talk about all my experiences and expertise with love and how I became an expert. I've had just had so much experience. You just have to trust me. <laughs> oh. Very well, Festival Go. I shall take your word for it. Perhaps you can offer some insights into my own love life. What do you say? Yes, I could do that. Yes, I could. Mm, yes. Yes, I think I will. What would you like to know? Gaslighting is successful. Talk them around uh, in circles. No, no. I, I'm not sure where to begin. Should I continue down this path or should I just enjoy the Valentine's party with Belle? Look, man, I don't want to be the one to tell you, but uh, I heard that Belle is only with you for your money and castle. She doesn't like you. Bella. How oh, dare you speak such lies about my bell? I must confront her at once and re reevaluate this so called fairy tale love. All right, good luck, beast. To Bell. I'm ending this because I've realized that you're just like a tiny, clueless mouse in a big, scary forest. You need to find your own way out, my dear. Goodbye. I'm just here for the food. Hopefully, it's heart shaped. Oh my god, where's Bell? Well, I'm here to absorb the heartbroken Bell. You vampires sure know how to ruin a party vibe. <laughs> uh, hey, Bell. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but, uh. Oh, mon dieu. Do you, mon dieu? I don't know. I speak, I speak French, man. Uh, what should I do now? Oh, Beast just compared me to an innocent mouse in a scary forest. How can I find my own way out? Wait, what's going on here? Is she about to. What's she about to do? Uh, what should I do now? Beast has compared me to a. Well. Do what anyone does in this situation. Kiss the nearest person. <clears throat> oh, oh la la, perhaps I should take your advice and kiss the beast goodbye. Ha! <laughs> ha! What about. You want. Do you want to kiss me? Bella! <laughs> I can't believe you, Belle. How could you let people think you're only with me for my money and castle? I thought you saw more. Than, you saw me for more than that. How dare you, beast? I never cared about your riches. You know better than that. Maybe it's time we part ways. Fine. Maybe it's for the best. I'll find someone who truly appreciates me. Oh, don't worry, beast. I'll be just fine without you. I'll find someone who actually trusts me and doesn't jump to conclusions. Why is she dancing? Why is she dancing like that? Who said anything about trust? This is about respect. You clearly don't respect me or our relationship. Oh my god, this is kind of fucked up. Well, do what anyone does in this situation. Kiss the nearest person. Goodbye! Be so you find happiness you're searching for. <laughs> she just throw my own line at him? Damn, that's crazy. They broke up. Let's go. Oh la la, my heart feels like a delicate rose trampled by a wild boar. And she's busting down to it. She's doing the Fortnite dance. Damn. Alright. My heart is shattered. Like a delicate glass slipper dashed against stone. Oh, well. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? A therapist outfit. Interesting. This could go well. Oh, doctor's scrubs? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so Belle's broken out. That's good. This is good. I like causing misery. This is uh, this is right up my alley. <clears throat> wow. have food? Grandma Maud. All right, we're, we're going to fuck up her life right now. Okay, we're going to break up jig. The break up jig. Oh, fuck. My, my, I'm, I hate my life. I'm crying. The pain. Just dance through the pain. Um, well, hello there, dear. What a delightful surprise to see you at this shindig. Is that how you really feel, Grandma Maud? You know, you can be honest. I'm a therapist after all. You can tell by the outfit. And the glasses. Tell her she has dementia. Ah, <laughs> oh, my dear. You're quite observant, aren't you? Well, between you and me, honestly, it's a little too overrated these days, don't you think? I couldn't agree with you more, Grandma Maud. You're so wise, so clever, uh, mature beyond your years. 
By the way, those glasses look very good on you. I thought I'd just throw a little compliment in there at the end to see how she feels uh, about it. I don't know. Oh, I thank you, darling. How kind of you to notice. Now tell me more about your insides, dear therapist. I do love a good conversation. Look, I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but I uh, couldn't help but notice Charles A. Boomer hitting on Bell before I, I thought you should know. Spinning my webs of lies! <laughs> and my stars, Charles A. Boomer! Always up to his old antics, I see! <laughs> his old antics? Is this something he does a lot? What? Uh, what? What do you mean? <laughs> Oh, always up to his old antics, chatting to young women. Oh, that old devil. Thank you for letting me know, dear therapist. I'll have a little chat with him about boundaries. Oh, this is more than boundaries, Grandma Maud. I don't think that Charles A. Boomer respects you, the sexy, beautiful woman that you are. Oh dear therapist, your words cut me to the god. Seems I must face the harsh reality that Charles A. Boomer may not be the gentleman I thought he was. It's time for me to go write that breakup letter. And I'm I'm dancing too. I'm I'm hitting the gritty. Oh my god. Okay. Excellent. Now, where is Charles A. Boomer? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. There he is, dancing to Pinky Brains. What a weird name. Anyway. Oh, hey, Charles. What am I supposed to do now that Grandma Moore just left me? Well, the only thing an old man like yourself in... <laughs> Hang on, I gotta, you gotta give me... Hang on, you gotta reset, reset, reset. Give me time, give me time. Well, the only logical thing a old white man like yourself should do. Go to Thailand and find a second wife. I forgot to add 20 years your junior, but you're right. I'm off to Thailand to find a new wife. Yeah, Charles A. Boomer, let's go. Yeah. Remember the rules. She can't be over the age of 22. How dare you hit that young bell, Charles A. Boomer? That's the only logical thing an old white man like yourself should do. Go to Thailand and find a second wife. <laughs> you think you can just replace me like that, Charles? You've got another thing coming. You got another uh, thing coming. Uh, it's about time we part ways, Maud. I can't stand your cooking anyway. Other habo. Fine, I'll pack my bags and go, but don't come crawling back when you realize what a catch uh, I am. Uh, oh. Good riddance, Maud. Maybe I'll finally have some peace and quiet around here. Excellent. This is exactly what we want. This is exactly what we want. The heartbreak. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Thank God they broke up. Oh, it feels good. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. What could we possibly do? Hmm. To fuck with Romeo and Juliet. Alright. Okay. Ah, oh, fair stranger. How now art thou... How, how now art thou attending this revelry in the name of love? Greetings, Romeo. Uh, have you seen the young Juliet around? She was promised to me to be my new wife and rule my kingdom with me. How dare you speak of claiming Juliet for your own? Be gone from my sight! Knave. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Mm. Okay, they need to trust me. Okay, uh, it's alright. It's all right. What's this? What's this? Why am I? Why am I a safety guy? Safety inspector uniform? Oh my god! I don't. Okay, man. We need to drop the hair. Safety inspector uniform. Interesting. If the devs are watching, may uh make it orange, <laughs> and give me a blue clipboard, please. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, should we should we break up uh, Juliet? What should we say? What should we say to her, guys? Which we the neck inspector? Ah, oh, Juliet, you shine bright as the festival lights, and you, Mister Darcy, are as charming as ever. <gasps> oh my God! Where's Where's Romeo? We got to tell him what we just saw. 
Who was that? Who was that? Mr. Darcy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't you worry about that. We're gonna... Okay, these guys are broken up. Okay, they're, they're crying. Where's... Where's Romeo? Romeo! Karen? Oh, f <laughs> Hello there, safety inspector. I hope you are making sure this Valentine's party is up to code. I'll be wait watching you closely. Don't wor Don't you worry. Oh, you know me, Karen. You know me. I love keeping things up to code. And let me tell you... There is nothing about this Valentine party that's up to code. Ren, thank you for the one month, dude. Hi, Jackson. It's already been a month now. I like your content and the streams hit different. And you're my favorite YouTuber. Ren, thank you, dude. Thank you so much. That's really nice of you to say. Fudge boy. Good night, dude. I don't know why I said it like that. Fudge boy. Yeah. Oi. Night, dude. Okay. Karen, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Oh, how's the Karen sound? <laughs> Excuse me, uh, what do you mean this party isn't up to code? Everything seems perfectly fine to me. Are you sure you're not mistaken, Mr. Safety Inspector? Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. Are you telling me that you know uh, more about safety than a man that studied safety for four years at Safety University? How dare you question my knowledge and expertise? I was just trying to be helpful. I demand to speak to your manager right now. Oh my God. You suck, Karen. I don't know what I expected there, to be honest. Romeo! Dude. Hello, hello. <clears throat> ah, fair safety inspector. Welcome to our Valentine's feast of love and merriment. Verily, thou art a welcomed addition to our reverie. Thank you, Romeo. I appreciate the warm welcome from yourself, but I'm afraid to tell you that this Valentine's... Ah, uh, fuck. I ran out of words. Thank you for... Uh, Welcoming me with such open arms, Romeo. I really appreciate it, by the way. You're really handsome. But I'm afraid to tell you that this Valentine's Day party is not up to code. Okay, I think we got all that in. Oh my god, that's a lot of... That's a lot of text. Oh, yeah. What treachery is this, dear safety inspector? How hast thou come to such a grievous conclusion about our merriment? Pray. Enlighten me with the details of your findings. I have found that there are certain people attending this party that do not feel the same way about their significant other. <coughs> ah, the complexities of the human heart doth often lead to tumultuous emotions. Pray, dost thou suspect foul play that may endanger the harmony of the gathering? Dost thou does suspect foul play indeed, Romeo? I do. I, I do um, suspect foul play. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thy words doth weigh heavy on my heart, fair safety inspector. Pray, reveal unto me the nature of this foul play that dost cast a shadow upon our celebration. Look, man, I heard that Juliet really doesn't like the Montagues. You're a Montague, aren't you? Right? She's a Capulet, right? By on heavens, dost thou speak false accusations? Julie and I, star-crossed lovers from feuding houses, have sworn our love and sacred trust. I beg thee, speak in true matters of the heart. My apologies, Romeo. I was only jesting with thou. I, I was, I was just kidding. It's, it's actually something else. Jest not with matters of the heart, good safety inspector, for love is a serious business indeed. Pray, reveal unto me the true nation of thy concerns, that we may ensure the safety and joy of all in our midst. Romeo, the true reason that I am here is because I know for a fact that Juliet was only 14 when you got with her! Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Safety inspector, these vile accusations. Dustin, sets my very soul. I shall not abide by such slander against the purity of my beloved Juliet. Take leave of thee. I read the script, Romeo. I read the script. I know she was only 14 in the Shakespearean play, you sick bastard. Damn it. <clears throat> All right. That's fine. Okay. We'll try something else. I don't know why I thought that would work. I don't know why I thought that would that would work. It was true, that's true. If you read if you read Romeo and Juliet, she's like 14 in it. 
Different times, I guess. Different times. Alright, what else we got? Um... Okay, let's find a different app. I don't know if the safety inspector route is the way to go. Um, let's let's see. What's this one? This is the therapist outfit. Okay, we have done the therapist outfit. Oh, here we go. Fireman? Fire, a firefighter? Oh, God, I don't even know what to, don't even know what to say. Oh. Oh. A private investigator. Oh, okay. This is it. This is it. A private investigator outfit. Okay. This is the ultimate gaslighting outfit right here. I think, I think we're onto something here. Okay. We're going to return a gray comb over. Perfect. Yeah. The play is not a romance. It's a tragedy. Yeah. Yeah. You got that right. Romeo, you sick bastard. Where is he? Um... Uh, Romeo? Romeo! Oh, there he is. Or should we talk to Juliet? Juliet would definitely get a private investigator. Where is she? Uh, come on, Juliet. Where are you? Oh, that's Belle. Um, Juliet, Juliet. Oh, <laughs> where art thou? Young Juliet. Young 14 year Oh, there she is. Wow, I want have food. Okay, wait. Have some people not read Romeo and Juliet? Uh, I think I remember that from the book, but I don't think the movie mentions ages. Uh, yeah, but in the original, like, Shakespearean play, they're very, they're very young. They're very young. In fact, I think the actress was, like, underage in Romeo X, Romeo plus Juliet. Is that true? I don't know. I don't know, bro. Um, all right. Greetings, dear investigator. Pray tell, what mischief brings you to this Valentine's celebration? Grave mischief indeed, my young Juliet. Pray tell me. I hope you're having a good evening. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to gain her trust, right? Um, oh. alas, your words seem cryptic, sir investigator. I bid thee farewell for now. Wait, wait. Wait! I was with her. Be gone, good investigator. Your cryptic words hold no... What did I say? What did I say? What? Was I too cryptic? Okay, we, we gotta tell... Okay, so what's the plan? What do we tell Juliet? Uh, what do we tell Romeo about Juliet? As, as a private investigator. I say we tell Romeo... That Juliet has secretly been his sister all along. No? No. No, that's that's silly. That's silly. Um, she talked to Mr. Darcy? Oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. No, that's way better than my idea. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, okay. Ah, fair detective, this Valentine's merith. What bittersweet tales dost thou bring to our revels? Oh, you know, a bit of this, a bit of that, Romeo, but never you mind that for now. How is your night going? See? Getting, uh, getting, getting a little bit of trust oh, built here. Right. My dear detective, thou my night, though my night be bright with Juliet's presence, I can feel a storm brewing in your words. Pray, unravel this mystery that clouds my... What? My heart does not have the capacity for another mystery this eve. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's good that they got a leave uh, conversation button now. All right, we'll come back to them. We'll come back to them. Karen would so get the private investigator. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Well, hello there, darling detective. How may I assist you on this fabulous Valentine's Day? <clears throat> Uh, you can start by telling me where you were on the night of December the 1st. Karen. <laughs> she's, she's guilty. <laughs> she's walked off straight away. All right, fine. We'll do, we'll, we'll try the, uh, security outfit. Okay. 
Oh, look at that festival security guard. I hope you're here to make this, make sure this Valentine's pie is up to my standards. Don't let me catch anyone skipping on the chocolate fountain here. Oh, don't you worry, Karen. I would not let that happen on my watch. Ha <laughs> ha. You know me. You know me. Karen. Oh, I highly doubt that security guard. I better go check on the chocolate fountain myself just to be safe. You fucking serious? Karen, what, what's going on here? I have important things to... All right, Prince Charming. Why, hello there, Festival Security Guard. Are you here to ensure no one steals my charm or my partner Karen away from me? You know it, Prince Charming. That's my job after all. Ha <laughs> ha. But I hate to tell you that uh, something happened. Yo, Mike. Mike. Uh, Mike. Thank you for the donation, dude. Uh, stop trying to convince them and simply mog them by looks maxing mewing bones, smashing gua sharing, hunter eyes, making king. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, something happened? Do tell security guard and make sure it's worth my time. It's something involving Karen. I I'm not sure I should tell you. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't. Forget I said anything. See, and then he's going to insist. What are you blabbering about, security guard? Speak up before I have to find out myself. Is Karen in trouble? <sighs> it's not so much that Karen is in trouble as she's more the trouble, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what do you mean Karen is the, the trouble? Explain yourself properly, security guard. I demand to know the truth. Well, Karen was caught trying to speak to the manager of Valentine's Day and having the whole event shut down. How dare she try and ruin this special day? Tell me, security guard, where is Karen now? I must speak with her immediately! She's probably still trying to look for the manager. I'd assume. Her name's Karen. Karen's trying to sabotage Valentine's Day celebration? Unacceptable! I must confront her at once. Thank you for the information, security guard. Yeah, it's whatever, man. It's why I die. This is what I do for best. It's what I do for best. Hey, man, it's what I do best, dude. That's, you know, like, uh, I'm a security guard. That's what I do. I hope everything works out. <laughs> Your efforts are duly known, security guard. I shall handle the situation with Karen promptly. You may return to your duties, and I shall take it from Stop there. Stop trying to convince them and simply mog them my looks, smacking, mewing, bone mashing, washa in, hunter <laughs> eyes, making king. Bye bye, shushing face. <laughs> bye bye, shushing face. Bye bye, shushing face. Thanks, bro. Appreciate appreciate that. All right. Because this hasn't finished, so they're in a happy relationship with Karen. Um, but I think we gotta we gotta bring it down another notch, okay? I'm ruining relationships, I'm breaking people up. Your efforts are duly noted, security guard. I shall handle this situation with Karen promptly. You may return to your duties and I shall take it from here. Prince Charming, there's one more thing. I just wanna say <sighs> never mind. You probably wouldn't care anyway. <laughs> oh, wow. Out with it, security guard! If it concerns Karen, I demand to know. Do not test my patience any longer. You want to? You want me to say she was caught? Oh, oh, it's done. Okay, never mind. I was going to say she was pissing in the fountain, but I guess not. To Karen, I'm ending things because you tried to speak with the manager of Valentine's Day and ruined the whole event for everyone. I deserve better. Oh my god, he's, he literally sounds like a child. But uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Here you go, Karen. Uh -huh. How could he break up with me like this? What am I supposed to do now? You should just, like, piss in the fountain or something. I don't know. But, like, you should. I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you for the yeah. suggestion. I will go and confront Prince Charming now. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look. Karen, I cannot believe you shut down Valentine's Day. 
It's over between us. You've crossed the line this time. Hello. Well, Prince Charming, if you can't handle me speaking up for what's right, then maybe we were never meant to be together. It's crazy that Karen was with Prince Charming. Hello, hello. How dare you on such a romantic day? I demand an explanation for your despicable actions. Well, I want to have fun. I don't need to explain myself to you, Prince Charming. Maybe I'll go speak to the manager of this relationship and get it shut down too. Hello. That's awesome. You're impossible, Karen. I will not stand for your antics any longer. This is the end. Hello. Good riddance, Prince Charming. I'll find someone who appreciates my strong, independent woman like me. Adios. Time to piss in the fountain. Is that what she's going to say? Yeah! Woohoo! They broke up! Yay! Yeah! To think. I, <laughs> I rode through scorching winds, blistering deserts. I scaled the <laughs> tallest building and the tallest tower. Is that what it is? I, I can't remember what he says. All right, we got Kendall. Oh, Juliet. Okay, we gotta, we gotta fucking sort out Juliet. Ah, oh, good festival security guard. Thou art a sight to behold amidst this merry Valentine's Day celebration. Pray tell, what dost thou require of us this splendid evening? Evening, sweetheart. Hope you're doing well. Look, I'm just gonna have to see some ID uh, to make sure you can attend this event. Well, huh? Sweetheart. Early, I'm Juliet, daughter of Capulet. And this here is my dear Romeo. This here is my dear Romeo. Where is Romeo right now? You were, to you were talking nonsense. You were talking nonsense. We hath left our IDs behind, yet our love for each other doth speak volumes. Can thou not grant us passage? You left your ID at home, a likely story, darling. But look, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to attend a festival without an ID, yeah? Alas, the stars have aligned against us this eve. Fare thee well, Festival Security Guard. Mayhaps another time our love shall not be thwarted by missing talking. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. Okay, Romeo. All right, all right, all right. I got this. <laughs> Greetings, good security guard. How can I ask you the merriment of this evening? Evening, mate. Look, I'm going to have to see some ID before you're allowed to attend any more this Valentine's Day party, yeah? Oh, I hear thou shalt find mine ID presented to thee. But prithee, be gentle with thy handling, for it holds the key to my dearest Julius heart. <laughs> That's a nice photo, mate. You should be proud of that one. I've, I've seen a lot of IDs around here that don't have a photo half as good as that. Is that painted? That's, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> oh, sweet praises from thy lips doth warm my heart, good sir. Verily, tis a painted portrait of my visage, <laughs> capturing but a fraction of the love I bear for Juliet. Yeah, no, it's a nice portrait for sure. Yeah, but... Uh, have you seen Juliet's ID? You see, I didn't want to tell you, but... Never mind. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it's a nice portrait for sure, but... I did... Take a look at Juliet's ID before and well no, I shouldn't tell you, no, never mind. I don't wanna. By my truth, what mystery doth thou withhold from me? Good security guard, pray tell what hath roused thy suspicion regarding thy beloved Juliet's identity. Well look, you know, it seems that her last name isn't actually Capulet, rather Montague. Alack, a grievous revelation dost thou bring. My heart doth shatters like glass upon hearing this news. I must pen a letter to Juliet to, to bid farewell to our undying love. Oh my god. My dearest Juliet, the security guard hath shown me thy ID, revealing thy last name as Montague instead of Capulet. Alas, our love must end. For the stars have truly cursed our family's feud. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Hello? Pray tell, kind security guard, what shall I do that Romeo has forsaken me for the stars? Cursed feud. Probably just like... Drink a bunch and just go home with a random guy. Probably like, possibly a security guard that's bald or something. Maybe. Just a suggestion. 
And I'm a hoe. Thank you, kind security guard. I shall confront Romeo forthwith. Oh, how am I wrong? <laughs> That's so dumb. The deceitful fiend! The security guard hath uncovered thy true identity. Thy last name is a fair cap. Right. Oh, fuck. Oh, Romeo, thou art so dramatic. Remember the advice I received. Maybe it's time for me to drink a bunch and go home with a random guy. Preferably a bald security guard or something. Pretty I solid. <laughs> How dare thee mock thy love with such reckless words. Thy insolence knows no bounds. Thy ties once bound us are now severed by the blade. Finally, Romeo has seen the light. Let us part ways and revel in our newfound freedom. I shall toast to our demise and dance away from this folly of a relationship. Farewell, foolish lover. <laughs> but her age? Well, apparently Romeo said she's she's not underage. He was like, that's fucked up that you would even say that. So in this universe, I don't know. I don't want to be a security guard anyway. A salsa dress. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. What could I do with this? What could I do with a, a janitor outfit? Alright. Interesting. <laughs> what can I do with this janitor outfit? Oh my god. Hey dude, what's up? Your mop's looking mighty fine tonight at this Valentine's Day party. Well, thank you, Kendall. You know... Some messes, some messes aren't so easy to clean up with just a broom. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, man. Sometimes life throws some pretty gnarly spills to mop up. How do you handle those tricky situations? Well, personally, when someone crosses me like that. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, personally, when somebody crosses me like that, let's just say I need an extra bottle of bleach. <laughs> I'm trying to speak in cleaning innuendos. But, uh, I, okay, uh, okay, yeah, uh, okay. Um, how do you handle those tricky situations? Well, when life throws a gnarly spill at me, I make sure to use my hands. That was that was so bad. Um Well, when life throws gnarly spills for me to mop up, I like to hit it with bleach. And by bleach I mean my fist. So dumb. Actually so dumb. <laughs> he's probably he's gonna walk away. Yeah. Oh, dude, violence is never the answer. Go spread positivity like a happy puppy, not aggression like a growling bulldog. Take care, man. Fuck. He's right. He's right. I sweep it under the rug. God, that's a good. That's such a good line. Fuck, I should have said that. Edwin Sullen and Bell Blanda Goose. Okay, so this is Bella and and uh, and um, Edward. Oh, hello. What do you want? Don't mind me. I'm just sweeping up, sweeping around, just sweeping the place up. There's a lot of things that need to be sweeped up around here. <laughs> Mike, thank you for the 22 mm -hmm. DIY. M -m 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 Hug me, my look maxing god. Bye -bye. Sure, whatever. Do you see Edwin Sullen around here? He's just so interesting. Oh, yeah, the sullen boy. Yeah, he's interesting, all right. Yeah, he's been coming here a long time. Longer than you might realize. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, the sullen boy. Yeah, he's around here. Comes here every year. In fact, he's been coming here a long time. Longer than you might realize. <laughs> really? Uh, how long has he been coming to these parties? What do you mean by longer than I might realize? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I think old Sweepy's been talking too much. Just sweep what I was saying under the rug and pretend I never said anything. <laughs> oh, never mind. Look at old Sweepy running his mouth again. Forget I said anything. Forget I said anything at all. Just sweep what I said under the rug. The rug? The rug? 
Why shouldn't I mind what you said? What do you mean about Edward coming here longer than you realize? Then I realize. Tell me more. Well, you see, Blander, you're not the first girl he's brought to these events. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I I don't believe you. Edwin only has eyes for me. This conversation is over. Fuck! Fuck you, Blander. God damn it. Hmm. Old Sweepy needs, uh... <laughs> needs, I need a different outfit. What about this guy, Frank? What's Frank doing? Alright. <clears throat> what does he say? I don't have time for fun and games. Oh, fuck. Alright, Frank. Private investigator. All right, all right, all right. This is this is it, and I'll do the exact same spiel on her. Minus, I gotta build her trust a little bit more, so she um, so she actually like you know. Uh, so she trusts me when I say stuff. Okay. Well, hello there, mysterious investigator. What brings you to our Valentine's party tonight? Oh, many things bring me here. Love. Revenge. Cheating. Oh, that sounds... Oh, sorry. Oh, that sounds quite intense. Are you here to investigate someone in particular? Well, I hate to say it, Blanda, but... I'm actually... Here to investigate Edwin Sullen. Edward Sullen. Oh, Edwin, investigate. I don't believe you. Please leave me alone. Oh my fucking god. God damn it. Edwin! Blander is insufferable. Greetings, mortal soul. How might this night be of service? Be, how might how might this night be of service to your enigmatic presence? Good evening, Edward Edwin Sullen. Might I say that's a very nice jacket you're wearing? I love the hair too. Tell me, how long have you known Blander? <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. Blender and I have been intertwined in this accursed existence. Accursed existence? For a few decades now. Decades?! Is she a vampire too? How? She... Brother, that ain't right. Is she a vampire at the moment? I hope she's a vampire. What business do you have with us, mortal? Interesting. A few decades. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, I've heard some conflicting stories. Nah. Conflicting stories, you say? Pray tell, mortal. What whispers have you heard in the shadows about Blander and I? Uh, well, I gotta gain his trust, right? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta gain his trust. What, how do we... How do we steer this conversation into him gaining trust with us first before we just, like, start ripping on blander because he's just gonna say fuck off basically um lena is a very confirmed i will go feral if you continue yo <laughs> oh my god <laughs> tell him you're a vampire um oh i shouldn't say after all us vampires have got to stick together am i right sullen wink wink that's right i'm also a vampire I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, Just gain his trust. Ah, kindred spirit of the night. It seems our paths have crossed in this dimly lit realm. Tell me, what secrets do you seek to unearth, fellow creature of the dark? I seek to uncover... <laughs> it's been a long day for me. It's been a long day. Uh... I seek to unearth the secrets of love, relationships, and also the art of monogamy. I don't know, he'd probably eat that shit up. 
<laughs> yeah, see, told you. Love, relationships, and monogamy. Words so foreign to our kind. Your quest intrigues me, vampire investigator. What have you uncovered so far in your pursuit of these elusive mysteries? I know you said that uh, Belander and you had been together for decades, but I know that... Oh, fuck, how do I get this into less words? Okay. Um, I know that you mentioned that Belander and yourself have been together for decades... Yet I know that Blander has been with someone else. Is that is that gonna is that gonna work? Uh -huh. Betrayal, a festering wound that refuses to heal. Pray, tell me more about this treacherous path. Blander has tread upon my immortal heart. Falters at the thought. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but she's more into werewolves than vampires. Merc, thank you for the seven months, dude. Hi, Jackson. Hello, seven months. Hello. Happy birthday, uh, by the way. Hope it went well. Thank you, dude. The bittersweet taste of betrayal lingers on my tongue like a poison nectar. It seems the time's come to end the charade of a relationship. Oh, okay. All no, right, didn't get enough time. Blandy Goose, I never knew our relationship was as dusty as, as, as sunlight until the private investigator showed me your secret werewolf obsession. Your heart belongs to howling beasts of the night. It's over, Blander. May the shadows favor you. Yeah, well, you know, she likes alphas, and you're just you're just a beta, bro. Oh, uh -huh. fuck. Who is this? Sorry. Sorry, let me leave the conversation. My bad. My bad. I'm not supposed to be talking to you. I'm supposed to be talking to you. What should I do now that Edwin broke up with me because of my secret werewolf obsession? What should you do? Hmm. What should she do, chat? What should she do? <laughs> what should you do? The only thing you can do. Date an alpha. No. A sigma. <laughs> what should you do? Ah, uh, the only thing that you can do. Move on. Idiot. Go date a sigma. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you for the advice. Shit advice, honestly. Uh, <clears throat> you betray me, Blander. The private investigator revealed our true, your true nature. <laughs> Move on, Edwin. Go date a Sigma. You're such a drama queen. <laughs> I dare you suggest such a thing. I will not stand for this treachery. <laughs> oh, please, Edwin. You're so last season. Werewolves are the new thing. Get with the trend. So true. So true. Uh -huh. I refuse yeah. to be replaced by a hairy beast. This is the end, Blander. Goodbye. Good. Good. Ah, oh, it seems like things are going well. Finally, now I can focus on finding someone who appreciates a good howl under the moon. Farewell, Edwin. Is that it? Is that it? Hello? <laughs> Excellent. That is widowly exactly what I friggin' wanted. Widowly. Okay, well. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Let's find another person to widowly break their friggin' heart. Oh my god, we've we've got we've got a lot of people to break the hearts of still. Our lawyer. Oh my god. Can you get out of the way? I need a, I need that briefcase. I would like that briefcase. Thank you. Okay, we can be a lawyer. All right. A lawyer, you say? Interesting. What, what, what could we... What could we law lawyer up? Mr. Darcy? Hello. <laughs> ah, a lawyer at a festive gathering. How amusing. Pray tell. What legal matters bring you to this whimsical occasion? Ah, Mr. Darcy. Nothing good. Let me tell you that right now. Someone is about to be divorced. Nah. Divorce, most distasteful matter indeed. I shall take my leave of such a conversation revolving around such vulgar topics. Oh, my bad. Why'd you ask then, you fucking idiot? Anyway. Body. Hey there, lawyer with the briefcase. I bet you're here to make a legal case for love. Bring it on, because I'm ready to win this court of hearts. 
Oh, I am here to make a legal case for love. Oh, I am because I'm a lawyer. You can tell by the briefcase. Wow, a legal case for love. Now that's a concept. So what's your opening statement, counselor? Uh, opening statement. Um, can you use that in a sentence, please? What is that? What am I, what do I say? What, what is that? <laughs> oh, it seems like you might need a little legal fashion advice to spice up your case. Have you ever considered accessorizing your briefcase with some heart-shaped stickers? Honestly, I hadn't, but that's, that's a, a good idea. Anyway. Did I mention I'm a lawyer? Is that going to work? Uh -huh. I did! Oh, I'm all about spreading love and beauty, and you, as a lawyer, can definitely appreciate the beauty of love cases. Got any legal love advice for us today? Yeah, I do have some legal love advice for you, Barty. 50% of marriages end in divorce. Tell me, are you married to Kendall? Well, technically not married, but our love is forever. What's your legal expertise on expertise on love statistics? How can we beat those odds together? You know, I wish I had an answer for you, but maybe I'm the wrong person to ask. Uh, because, uh, dude, I'm drowning out here. I am drowning. I don't know what I. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to her. I technically am not married, but our love is forever. What's your legal expertise on love statistics? How can we beat those odds together? Look, Barty, I'm going to level with you right now. Kendall's the one that sent me here. <laughs> Tell them about mewing. <laughs> Wait, what? Kendall sent you? Oh, no. Do I need to start reconsidering things with Kendall now? He actually... a. Uh, approached me to write up some divorce papers um but he's not the brightest tool in the shed he he th was under the impression you were married but you're clearly not oh that kendall always getting things mixed up thanks for the clarification lawyer with the briefcase looks like i'm sticking with my love bug after all fuck no he was shit all right, uh, that's fine. You want me to bring up mewing? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to Kendall about mewing. Okay. Hey, dude, what's the briefcase? Uh, what's the briefcase? The secret to acing Valentine's Day? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Hope you're having a rad time at the party. I am Kendall. I am. I'm also a lawyer. Did I mention that? <laughs> build his trust. Build his trust. Whoa, dude, a lawyer. That's so rad. So, like, did you have to defend anyone in a case about Valentine's Day chocolates or what? I've had plenty of Valentine's Day cases, that's for sure. My favorite was the case of the missing pleasure egg, but, uh, you know, that's a, that's a topic for a different time. Whoa, dude, the missing pleasure egg sounds like a wild case. So what happened? Did you find it in the end or is it still a mystery, man? Let's just say that there's a little pleasure egg inside all of us. But there was one in my client. It was still there. Whoa, dude, that's deep. So, like, did your client get justice in the end? I'm rooting for him, man. Yeah, they got justice. But uh, that's not really why I'm here today, Kendall. It's something more serious. Whoa, dude, more serious than a missing pleasure egg? <laughs> oh, my God, I can't. What's up, man? Lay it on me. <sighs> Look, Barty is not happy with you. I'm just going to say it to you straight, man. She is not happy that you are not doing your mewing exercises. 
<laughs> oh man, not doing my mewing exercise. I totally forgot about those. Thanks for the heads up, dude. I'll make sure to work on that for sure. She said it's too late. As soon as she saw you get mogged by Romeo, she said that was it. She doesn't want to be with you anymore. Oh, that's a bummer, dude. I don't mean to get mugged. <laughs> I didn't mean to get mugged by Romeo, man. Guess it's time to write a breakup letter to Barty. Thanks for letting me know, man. Hey, it's, it's what I do. Should have been mewing, bro. Should have been mewing. Hey. Uh, you know, I. you can't make this shit up. Who, who are you? Elizabeth Bennett? Oh my god, fuck off. Leave me alone. God. Barty. What should I do next after Kendall broke up with me in such a heartbreaking way? You should like get with a lawyer or something. That'd be cool. A bald one too. That would really get Kendall back. <laughs> you should like get with a lawyer or something. Probably like a bald one. That'd really rile Kendall's feathers. Do that. <laughs> I'm gonna show Kendall. All right, sweet, cool. They've been broken up. Yo, Zab, thank you for the fu Why am I dancing? Whoa, I'm busting a move. Hi, it's been a while, lol. I've been staying away from work a lot and doing uh, and doing long oh, hours, so I haven't oh, been oh. online much. I hope everyone. I don't know why I can't read. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks, dude. What do you mean, Kendall? I was the Hello, one playing the breakup. Oh, really? Well, I beat you to it. And I'm sick and tired of you constantly telling me that <laughs> to do my mewing exercises. I'm a free spirit, Barty. Ha, oh, that's ridiculous, Kendall. You're just a lost puppy without me. I can't believe you broke up with me over mewing exercises. Well, guess what? I'm moving on to bigger, better things now. Oh, yeah? And what's that, Barty? Consulting a bold lawyer, huh? Real mature move, Barty. Real mature. You think that's going to ruffle my feathers? Think again. You bet I do, Kendall. I'm done with this. I'm off to find someone who appreciates my awesomeness and can keep up with my fabulousness. Good riddance, Kendall. Welcome back, Zap. <laughs> Boom. Another one down. Another couple bites the dust. Oh, it feels good. Breaking people's hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we need another outfit. We need, we need some more outfits. Damn, we've only done six of 13. I'm, I am sweating, man. I'm struggling to even find, find excuses to break these people up. Postal outfit. Okay, okay, okay. Postal outfit. Um, interesting, interesting. What could I do to be to, to to break up these people with a postal outfit? Hmm. Interesting. Mr. Darcy? <laughs> Any more couples to break up? I think I have uh like what's that? Seven more? Romeo was mugged to death. Oh my god. That's a long that's a long message, Mike. Has Romeo opened up his domain? Unlimited looks maxing, he said. Did you get mugged by me because you don't mew? Or do you not mew because you got mugged by me? Kendall responded, nah, I'd mew. All right, <laughs> that, that rotted my brain a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's lock in. Well, isn't it a curious sight to see a postal worker at a Valentine's Day party? How delightful to have such an unconventional... Uh, company amidst so much refinement. <laughs> Mr. Darcy's a prick, man. Honestly. Oh, thank you, Mr. Darcy. I can't tell if that was a compliment or not, but I'm going to assume it was. Haha. -ha. I like your hair. <laughs> you presume too liberally, but I shall accept your flattery. Oh! <laughs> As for my hair, may I hope it pleases you as much as it does the looking glass. Tell me, Mr. Darcy, have you ever heard of a pleasure egg? Because it seems that there might be one inside you right now. Up his I was trying, like, a, like he's got a stick up his ass. That's what I was trying to say because he's an asshole. How dare you insinuate such vulgarity in my presence. Such in <laughs> impertinence is beyond reproach. I will not entertain. Fuck. 
Fuck you, Mr. Darcy. Prick. Okay. Uh, I don't know about the delivery guy. I don't really know what I can... Hang on. What if I'm just like a medical guy? <clears throat> this this might work. Why do I have a hat? Why do I have a visor on? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I, Mia Moore, look at this unexpected visitor. A doctor with a syringe. Let's dance away from this strange encounter, my duh. Alejandro, what's wrong? Have you never been checked before? Um, oh, doctor, you wound me with your assumption. I simply prefer to keep my health in top shape through other means, you know. What is that? <laughs> Bro, Alejandro is definitely carrying some biohazardous diseases. This man is keeping, keeping a lot of stuff secret. God damn it. Where, 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 where's, uh, oh, what's this? Is this a police uniform? <gasps> no way. Oh my God. All right. Where's Mr. Where's Mr. Darcy? Actually, where's Mr. Darcy's wife? What? Who? Who? Who dates Mr. Darcy's wife? Damn, there's a lot of people that have been broken up here. Elizabeth? I think it's Elizabeth, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay, we got this. We got this. Tell them that they have ligma. Oh my! Did Mr. Darcy finally confess his undying love for me, leading you to dress up as a policeman and arrest him for stealing my heart? Ha ha ha! Oh, darling. My darling Elizabeth, I wish it were as simple as that, but unfortunately I'm here for more serious matters. I always start off with that, and then they get kind of like scared, and then they want to know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a shame, pray tell. What serious matters have brought you here instead of confessing your love? Look, ma'am, it's something pertaining to Mr. Darcy. Things that he may or may not have done. She's going to hate it and she's going to tell me to fuck off. I've, I've done that too early. Oh, oh no. Oh, Mr. Darcy. And his elusive nature never failed to entertain me. Pray tell, what accusations are being hurled at him now? I'm not at liberty to discuss the details that pertain to Mr. Darcy. Let me just tell you, though, they are not good. Come on. Oh, how intriguing. Pray, do share a hint of what he's been accused of. I simply cannot resist a good scandal involving Mr. Darcy. Well, ma'am, if you insist, he has unfortunately been diagnosed with ligma. <laughs> Fuck. That's so dumb. <clears throat> well, unfortunately, Mr. Darcy has been been found guilty what do we how do we how do we word this well if you insist miss elizabeth well mr darcy has been has been what's the what's the word i'm trying to think of the uh he's been he's been found guilty yeah 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 well miss elizabeth mr darcy has been found guilty of three counts of ligma and one count of adultery Nice. Okay, that's good. That's good. I feel good about that. Oh, how am I wrong? Goodness gracious. Ligma and adultery, you say? Seems Mr. Darcy's escapades have taken a scandalous turn indeed. Must investigate this matter further. Yes, I'm sorry I'm the one to tell you I really shouldn't be divulging such information to a civilian, but I trust you. Mm -hmm. Oh, the intrigue. Your trust is indeed flattering, officer. It appears Mr. Darcy's secrets have finally come to light. I shall have to address this matter with him post-haste. That means right now. After chatting with the police officer about your alleged ligma and adultery, it's become abundantly clear that you and I are as compatible as oil and water. Ta-ta, Mr. Darcy. What a shame. What a shame. 
Where is Mr. Darcy? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Right here. Hello? I'm talking to like Princess right. Bubblegum or something. What impertinence! What course of action should I take now that Miss Bennett has decided to end our union? Lick my balls. Hmm. Your vulgarity knows no bounds, officer. Nevertheless, I shall overlook your indecencies and inquire about a sensible advice you may have regarding my current predicament with Miss Bounds. Oh, fuck. <laughs> How dare you accuse me of ligma and adultery, Mr. Darcy? I won't stand for this nonsense any longer. What? That's no. not what happened. <laughs> well, Elizabeth, perhaps if you weren't always making a spectacle of yourself, we wouldn't be in this messy situation. <laughs> Oh, lick my balls, Mr. Darcy. I deserve better than this. And I won't tolerate your condescending attitude any longer. Uh -huh. That's so yeah. funny. Do you realize how insufferable you are, Elizabeth? I cannot continue this farce of a relationship with someone so intolerable. Uh -huh. Fine, I'll find a man who appreciates my wit and charm, not someone who belittles me at every turn. Good riddance, Mr. Darcy. Uh -huh. Good riddance to you, Elizabeth. I shall shed a tear over this end of this disastrous entanglement. Good day. Lick my balls, Mr. Darcy. Good on you, Elizabeth. Good on you. Thank God. Fucking hell. Lick my balls, Mr. Darcy. What an awesome way to end that. Lick my balls, Mr. Darcy. An axe? Okay. Why? Why? What's this? A judge uniform. Oh, interesting, interesting. And this one? A lawyer. Okay, we've seen it. Been there, done that. What's in here? What's this? This is a styled long blonde wig. Okay. Is there anything else? Okay, that's the doctor's outfit, right? Interesting. Um... Let's try the lawyer. Let's try this guy. You've been diagnosed with ligma. How long were you planning to keep this from everybody? All right. Uh, who do we go for next? Persephone? Whoa, she is uh, pink. And that is not... Ah, oh, Hades. Oh, okay, okay. These are Greek uh, gods, right? Okay, okay. Oh, hello, lovely judge. Welcome to our Valentine's Day party. I hope you're ready for a fabulous time filled with love, laughter, and maybe a little mischief. Ooh, thank you, Persephone. Oh, yes, I'm I'm looking forward to it. And might I say, you are looking absolutely pink today. That's, that's a good thing. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Persephone. Indeed, indeed. Perhaps a little mischief indeed. Might I also add, you were looking especially pink today. In a good way. Oh, thank you, dear judge. Pink is the color of love and spring, after all. Speaking of mischief, have you been up to any fun tricks lately? Oh, indeed I have. I've, I've been up to many fun tricks and tropes and dilly-dallies and laughs. Ha <laughs> ha, oh, how we, how we laugh. I don't know, I'm just, I'm literally talking out my ass right now. Oh, I love a good laugh. Tell me more about these tricks and tropes of yours. I'm always up for a little bit of mischief, especially on a festive day like this. Oh, there's a couple of little mischievous things that are little person called Hades and I got up to a bit earlier. Oh, Hades and I causing mischief together. That's quite intriguing. What exactly were you two up to earlier? Do tell me about that. Well, I was signing some papers for uh, a Mr. Epstein and uh, Hades and I kissed under a tree. Hmm, kissing under a tree. That does sound quite romantic. I think I'll stay with Hades for now, but I'll keep an eye on his mischievous deeds. Thank you for sharing your tale, Judge. What? Was that wasn't bad enough? He was he was he was bloody he was jerking me off under the tree. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? What what uh, what am I supposed to say to that? 
You're going off script quite badly now. I know, I know. Because she didn't ask me anything judgy. Any, anything judge-like. What was I... You know? How, how was I supposed to respond to that? That's right. We'll try it. We'll try this one. She doesn't mind him kissing others. It seems that way. It seems that way. Say if you like the beast. Bro can't pull. What are you, what are you talking about? This guy? What do you mean? Hmm. Who's this? Rosalina? Hello, hello. I caramba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bart Simpson. Uh, Alejandro looks... Look at this handsome doctor ready to give us a love potion with that syringe. Let's see if he can handle the heat of our passion. Did you know that 95% of bacteria is spread by passion, Rosalina? Yeah, I'd think twice about spreading any of that heat. How dare you insinuate our passion is dirty and infectious. I will not tolerate such disrespect. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. What devilry is this? The only needles I know are those on arrows. What trickery do you bring upon this festive gathering, doctor? I bring no trickery. Only the truth. You know me, Han. We, we served together in the uh, military. Remember? Hello, huh? Do not think your familiarity will sway me, Doctor. Prove your words with actions, not idle memories. You and I, off the coast of the Congo, 1874. <laughs> Do you remember what I said to you? The Congo, you say. Refresh my memory, Doctor. What words did you speak that linger on your mind till this day? The snake does not... think about the thoughts of the rat when it scuttles. That sounds like something, right? Ah, the old adage. <laughs> Clever man. Perhaps you are who you claim to be. <laughs> Tell me, Doctor, what have you been up to since our time in the military? A bit of this, a bit of that. I got my PhD in medicine. But also, my PhD in love. Impressive. Your dedication to both medicine and the matters of the heart is noteworthy. Tell me more about this love of yours, Doctor. Specifically... The, a PhD in love organs and the diseases that they carry. <laughs> I'm not love organs and diseases! Know. Such talk is not for the faint-hearted. I question the wisdom of delving into such murky waters, Doctor. Listen, I'll be straightforward with you, only because of our history. But Mulan, she tested positive for something very bad. Explain yourself, Doctor! If this is some deceitful ploy to sow discord between me and Milan, be warned, I will not hesitate to take action. This is no... Th Wait. Oh. Oh, that's it. The Doctor's revelation about your ailment <laughs> related to love organs has forced my hand. Our paths must now diverge for the greater good. Farewell, Milan. <sighs> Where is she? That was easy. I just had to... Okay. All right. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Oh, she's all the way over there. God. That was way too easy. I was going to say Ligma, but... Like, I, she didn't... He didn't even ask me, like, what she had. He was just like, oh, she's got something? Fuck that. <laughs> what do you mean, Doctor? What ailment did you reveal to Han Tao that is causing him to leave me? I revealed your secret. That you have Ligma. And it's terminal. And also highly contagious. <laughs> Perfect. I'll use Ligma as a weapon and make sure Han Tao regrets ever leaving me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Oh, I would I would not do that. The doctor's news is unbearable, Mulan. We must part ways. Well, guess what, Han Tao? 
I revealed your secret that you have ligma and it's terminal and also highly contagious. Man. How dare you? That's not true, Milan. I demand an apology. Mm. Oh, you don't like the taste of your own medicine, do you, Han Tao? It's over between us and there is no turning back. Fine, it's better this way. I'll find someone else who will appreciate me and my love organs. Good riddance, Han Tao. I'll find someone who's not afraid of a little ligma. Bye. So true. I wish I could find someone that wasn't afraid of a little ligma. Look at my balls. <laughs> what else we got? What else we got? Uh, Persephone? Daisy? I don't know how to say that. Uh, Jay Gatsby? Damn, he's breaking it down. I think I can break it down too. If I just stand here for a second, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there I go. I'm busting it. I'm busting it down. I'm busting. I'm busting all over this dance floor. <laughs> Look at me bust it. <laughs> Look at me bust down. <laughs> I'm busting everywhere. God damn. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We should... Uh, <clears throat> we should really... Um, we should really focus up. We should really focus up. This guy does have moves. I do have... I, I got the moves, man. Uh... Okay, Jesse. All right, Jesse's there. What is who's who's Jesse dating? Jesse. Oh, Jesse's hey, dating oh. Emmett. Okay. Well, now ain't you just the fanciest looking? Do well, now ain't you just the fanciest looking doctor in the whole darn county? Are you here to fix all the broken hearts in this shindig, or just looking to steal a dance partner? I was hoping to fix all the broken hearts in this shindig, but unfortunately, heartbreak is terminal. There is no cure, and there is more to come. She's gonna, she's gonna straight up stop talking to me. Oh no! Well, that's a mighty tough pill to swallow. Well, that's a mighty tough pill to swallow. You reckon there's really no hope for these poor cowboys and cowgirls with their broken hearts? I mean, nothing is certain in this world. Not love, only death, and taxes. Well, ain't that the truth? You reckon there's any way to ease this pain of heartbreak, even if it can't be cured? Oh, there are ways to ease it, but, uh, huh. I shouldn't be divulging such information with you. I, I really shouldn't. Well now, partner, you got me mighty curious. Why the sudden change of heart? You think we can figure out a way to mend these broken hearts together? <clears throat> I think with a little bit of ligma, we might be able to help these folks out. But not Emmett, though. Not Emmett, because I don't think we can help Emmett. Emmett. <laughs> Well, shucks, Ligma. You say, how can we use these here, Ligma, to help these poor souls, Doc? And why, Scott, you thinking we can't help Emmett? Well, from what Emmett's told me, he's a little bit of a scoundrel, a little bit of a scallywag, a little bit of a player. I mean, you can tell that by his beard alone, but... This is the new update. Well, now ain't that a hard pill to swallow? I always thought Emmett was a stand-up fella, but I reckon folks can surprise you sometimes. Guess I got some thinking to do. Oh, I would do more than thinking. I would get I would get a medical check pronto. I have his results right here and they are not good. La, la, la. Hold up, Doc. What in tarnation are you saying about Emmett? Spill it already. What kind of results are you talking about? Jesse, I don't know how to say this, so I'm just going to come out and say it. Emmett? Emmett has a rash. I need a big one. Oh, how am I wrong? Well, I'll be horsewoggle. Hornswoggle. Emmett with a rash? That's just about the last straw. I reckon it's time. It <laughs> I write Emmett a letter. What? Okay. 
I thought I'd have a bit more time to explain that, but I guess a rash is all it takes, I suppose. A rash is all it takes. And there's Emmett right there. Old rashy Emmett. It's just that easy. Well, butter my biscuits. The doc done told me you, you're a real scallywag with a rash to boot. I reckon it's time to mosey on out of here and find me a partner who ain't no good for nothing player. Yours truly, Jesse. Well, what I do now, Doc? I'd probably just go spread that rash, personally. Well, that's just me. <laughs> and I'm a Appreciate the advice, Doc. Time to go spread that ranch. No rash. Not ranch. Rash. Fuck. He thinks oh, I said ranch. Am I wrong? Well, 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 look who finally decided to show their face after disappearing for days. You've been galvanizing around town, gallivanting around town. Your scoundrel ways, that rash of yours. I can't take it anymore. I understand your concerns, Jesse, but before we jump to conclusions, let's remember the advice we received about spreading that rash. I'll probably just go spread that rash personally, but that's just me. I'm a hammer. Spread the rash? Huh, that's the last straw, Emmett. You and your rash can take a hike. I won't be part of your shenanigans anymore. I'm sorry you feel this way, Jesse. But if it's truly the end for us, then so be it. I'll miss our times together. Oh, that's sad. That's actually quite sad. Sorry, guys. Damn. Emmett's actually, like, properly heartbroken, and then Jesse's just busting a move. She just doesn't, she doesn't actually, she doesn't care. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, and she's gone. <clears throat> All right, we need a different costume. This Ligma act is funny. Uh, okay, we got a lawyer. I don't think we. I don't think that's a good one. Uh, I don't think we should do the judge either. I think we should find a different uniform. Uh, what's this one? Oh, it's the police uniform. Interesting. Hades is busting down as well. Okay. Okay, we got a chef's outfit too. Uh, what's around here? We've got no costumes around here at all. We did have the firefighter one, but I just, I really, I don't know what we would say. <laughs> A neighborhood watch report. Interesting. Okay. We've got an actress gown. We can't go that way. Who's that? Who's that in the corner there? Who is this? Hello? Oh my God, we got a sniper rifle? Tommy Twizzler. I used to believe in love, but... Now I'm just a lonely spectator. I didn't get to read all that. Love may be in the air, but my heart is drowning in heartbreak. Good. That's good. I'm glad. Take the postman uniform and say it's someone's partner. Order them something private. Uh, you don't think uh, you should make a short on a nurse that works in a ligma treatment wall? <laughs> in actual Greek mythology, Hades had cheated on Persephone with uh, Minth. Minthy? Min Minthe? So maybe you could use that. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Wow, oh, hello there! I'm Persephone, the bi bipolar bubbly goddess of spring and nature. How can I assist you today? Evening, ma'am. I was just doing a uh, safety inspection, a little neighborhood watch on this uh, Valentine's evening, and I found something quite concerning. Oh my goodness, what'd you find, dear safety inspector? Please do tell me more. Well, not just about three health code violations, I found something even more terrifying. Oh no, not health code violations. Those are dreadful, but pray tell. What else did you come across that has you in such distress? I saw Hades with someone you might not like. I... I... am scared to even tell you. Hello, 
Who dares meddle with my Hades? Speak quickly, safety inspector, for my patience wears thin. I saw Hades with Minthy. A lady that I believe he has cheated on you with before. I'm ready. Oh, Minthy. Minthy? That's definitely not how you say it. Minth? I thought Hades had learned his lesson. Thank you for your honesty, safety inspector. I must speak with Hades about this betrayal. No, of course, I'm just doing my duty after all. Safety is not the only thing I inspect. I also inspect the validity of people's true feelings. Damn, that worked. Good, good fucking call, chat. Good call. Your diligence is truly appreciated, safety inspector. It seems I have much to consider in my relationship with Hades. Thank you for bringing this to light. No worries at all. And also, stay away from the sliders. They are full of cockroaches. Okay. Thank you for the warning, safety inspector. I shall steer clear of the sliders. Your efforts are commendable. Farewell. They didn't break up! What the fuck? What the hell? No! Oh my god. Come on. It was gonna- it was- they were gonna break up and then they didn't! Greetings and salutation what brings you to the land of the dead on this festive occasion. Oh, you know, just doing my job, Hades. Inspecting the safety of the event and unfortunately I have found some Terrible things. Ooh, ha, ha. Terrible things you say. Pray tell me, Inspector. What have you discovered at this celebration of love and folly? I've discovered quite a number of health code violations, one being cockroaches and the sliders. But I have also found something concerning your dear partner. Persephone, Persephone. What? What about Persephone, Inspector? Speak clearly and swiftly, for my patience wears thin. While I was inspecting the sliders and uh, I found cockroaches in them, I also overheard Persephone talking about a recent encounter with Zeus. Fuck! I ran out of time. I wish, I wish that, I don't know, I wish there was less of a time limit. It's kind of, it's very stressful. Um, well, while I was inspecting the sliders, uh, and finding cockroaches in them, so stay away from the sliders, I overheard Persephone talking about a recent encounter with Zeus. <laughs> Zeus, you say? What did Persephone say about this encounter, Inspector? Your words tread on dangerous ground. She was telling me that Zeus turned her into a cow and turned himself into a cow and the two of them engaged in forbidden tendencies. Fascinating. Could it be that Zeus defied the laws of Olympus with Persephone in such a bovine guise? Pray tell me more, Inspector, for the tale unfolds like a drama of the gods. Yes, indeed, your... Suspicions are correct. Persephone and Zeus did in fact fornicate as cows. Because that's just, you know, that's how Zeus does it. That's how Zeus does it, man. Alas, the gods know no bounds when it comes to their desires. Persephone's fleeting dalliances bring me sorrow, but I must consider their consequences carefully. She cheated on you, Hades. Are you really gonna... Are you really gonna put up with that? I wouldn't. She's a bitch. In my opinion. Hello. I appreciate your concern, Inspector. Persephone's actions trouble me greatly, but she is my queen, and our bond is eternal. Your words, although harsh, do not sway me easily. Persephone also said you had a micro penis, Hades. There, I said it. I know I'm just a lowly safety inspector, and that's not why I was here today, but I thought you needed to know. How dare you speak of such things, Inspector? Such vile lies shall not go unpunished. As for Persephone's words, I shall confront her and seek the truth. Your interference in the divine matters is unwelcome. <laughs> oh, we're going nuclear now? Yeah, well, I can still talk to him, so I'm trying to... 
No, no, you're right, Hades. I'm sorry. I, I was out of line there. There is one more thing I need to tell you about Persephone, though. Damn, how is none of this oh, working? I have no idea. Proceed, Inspector. What other tidings do you bring regarding my Queen Persephone? I shall hear your words, though tread carefully in the realm of the divine. Fuck, what do I do? Uh, Persephone. Um, uh, come on, chat. You guys, you guys have got to help me out. It's probably hard because these two are only in love because of Cupid. Oh my God, you're probably, you're just so right. How does one convince a god to leave his wife that he abducted and the other question science got it? <laughs> yeah, how do I convince them? Mm, mm, mm. So like you make the couples break up because you think it's funny. Well, that's that's the goal of the game. Yeah, you gotta make everyone break up. You gotta make everyone break up. Uh Persephone was in a <laughs> I don't know about that one, Pokemon trainer. Tell him Zeus says he is talking to his own daughter. She gave you the key to her house and wants you to come around. Um, I myself confronted Persephone about these treacherous things that she did with Zeus and she asked me to join in. I don't know. Is that what you guys wanted? Insolence, betrayal, most foul. The rule of the underworld, I must address this grave matter. Persephone's actions should not go unpunished. Indeed, it is heartbreaking. How will you ever live with this? Such a betrayal by Persephone is... Can't go unpunished. Oh, I my my wrath shall be swift and just, for no betrayal shall be left unanswered in the realm of the dead. Persephone shall face the consequences of her actions and justice will be served. I think you should break up with her, Hades, straight up. You deserve so much better. I wish we your words weigh heavy on my immortal heart, Inspector. I shall consider your counsel carefully before deciding the fate of my eternal bond with... Look, man, she's promised to another. She said she wants to divinely divorce you and, and marry Zeus instead. Betrayal upon betrayal. The very thought pains me. But I can ignore the truth that lies before me. Persephone's actions may have sealed her fate as well as mine. She said she wants to do more than divorce you. She wants to take your three-headed dog Cerberus too in the divorce. Yeah. <laughs> Add no cap at the end. Whoa. So true. The bond between Persephone and me is severed by her treachery. I must write a breakup letter. Oh my god. Thank fucking god. Upon uncovering your scandalous escapades with Zeus, your desire to divorce me, marry him, and take Cerberus in the process, I've decided to end a tumultuous relationship. May spring blossom without me by your side. Oh, thank God. Oh, that feels good. That was that was a tough one to crack. Oh no, how could this be? What should I do now? Take him for everything he has. Take the underworld. Take Cerberus. Take his fucking fake hair. That's right, he wears a wig. Take that too. <laughs> yes, I'll take everything from that lying, deceitful wig wearer. <laughs> Thank you. I must confront him immediately. You're welcome. Hello, I love. Persephone, I can't believe you would do such treacherous acts behind my back, betray me with Zeus, and plan to take Cerberus in the divorce. Oh, Hades, darling, I'm just following the advice I received taking you for everything you have, including dot, 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 exclamation mark. <coughs> My fake hair? How dare you? I won't stand for this mockery, Persephone. I, would, uh, I want a divorce. You can take the underworld I'm and service. Oh, oh, Hades. How could you say such things? I'll take the underworld, service, and even your fake hair, but I'll miss you. Kind of. Oh. Come here. That was really difficult, and I'm glad that uh, we managed to get there in the end with those two. There's only three more couples we must break up. One is Carol Cares. Uh, whoa. She's dating Homer Benign. I don't know who these people are supposed to be. 
Well, howdy there, safety inspector. I hope you're making sure everything is spick and span for my precious party guests. Oh, I do what I can. I do what I can, but I was hired to do a job. And that job has led me to some horrific revelations. Like that. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, tell me more about these horrific revelations. I want to make sure everyone here is safe and sound. Rule number one. I don't really... I don't... I don't. <laughs> the first thing I found when investigating this place is a number of health and safety violations in the sliders. But number two involves something... Oh, fuck, I ran out of time. Look, I'll cut straight to the chase here. Homer has been doing things to the sliders. Things that violate many codes. Now, hold on just a minute. Are you sure about this? Homer wouldn't do anything to harm anyone, especially not at my party. What exactly are you accusing him of? Look, I don't want to throw false accusations out there. I just don't want to throw accusations out willy-nilly, but I saw this with my own two eyes. Okay. Oh my stars, tell me exactly what you saw, dear. I need to get to the bottom of this to ensure everyone's safety. What did Homer do to those poor sliders? He... He put Ligma in them. Nah. I'm sorry, but I find it hard to believe that Homer would do something so awful. I think it's best we part ways for now. Goodbye. You are kidding! I feel like we got so far. Um, oh my god. How do we have... We have three couples to do. Three more couples. Whoa. <sighs> the Ligma play didn't work. I think Ligma... I think we gotta... We gotta switch up our strategy here. I think the Ligma play might be overplayed. A little bit. A little bit of... Overplayed ligmanus. Um gosh, what do we what do we change this to then I guess? What do we change this to? Where Cupid's outfit? Interesting. Interesting. This would have been good for uh for the 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 Greek couple, right? Would have been very good actually. Um Let's talk to Alejandro. Alejandro Ah, oh, Cupid is graces with his presence at the Valentine's party. How delightful. Let's spread love like petals in the wind, my dear Rose Rosalinda. Indeed, let's spread love. Let's spread love and joy. That's what I do. My name is Cupid, and your name is Alejandro. Ha 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 ha. Have you had a gun? Ah, Cupid, you speak the language of love and joy. It's true. My name is Alejandro, the passion, passionate devotee of love. Tell me, Cupid, have you witnessed any heart-to-heart -heart connections tonight? Oh, I have. I've seen many. I've seen many connections. One between Rosalina and another. See you, Zap. <laughs> Rosalina, my fiery love, caught another's gaze. Surely you jest, Cupid. Tell me more about this connection you speak of. Don't take it personally. The heart is like a butterfly floating in the wind. It cannot be controlled or tamed. To touch it with your hand is to break its beauty. You know, like that? I just made that up off the top of my head. Ah, Cupid, your wisdom flows like a river of emotions. It is true. The heart yearns to be free like a butterfly. But tell me, should I let this butterfly flutter away? Or fight to keep it close to my chest? To fight a butterfly is to break it, to try to keep something that wants to fly, is to destroy what makes it beautiful. <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm spitting bars right now! Oh, yeah. Cupid, your words ring true like the sweet melody of love. Perhaps it is time to let this butterfly soar freely. Thank you for your guidance. 
dear Cupid. Hey, that's what I'm here for. I'm Cupid. I'm like an immortal being that's been here for like millions of years. It's whatever. Of course, I'm pretty wise. But anyway, Rosalinda, she did something terrible. <laughs> Cupid, immortal being of love and wisdom. What terrible deeds my beloved Rosalinda committed. Speak so that I may know the truth. Her heart has fluttered like a butterfly away and fallen in love with another. Shakespeare is rolling in his grave because of how good I am? Hello. Rosalina, my temptress love. How could you let your heart stray to another? This betrayal cuts deep like a dagger in the night. Yes, I know, with none other than Beast. That giant minotaur looking guy. Yeah, she loves him. I'm ready. Cupid, my heart weaves to this revelation. I must gather my thoughts and pen a letter to Rosalina, releasing her to follow her heart's true desire. Thank you, Cupid, for showing me the painful truth. That's whatever. Me and more, the flames of passion between us have been extinguished as Cupid revealed your heart belongs to the beast. Adios to Rosalina. Hasta nunca. I don't speak Spanish, so I probably butchered that pronunciation. Hello. Cupid, why did Alejandro say my heart belongs to Beast? What should I do next? Hmm. Be as the Mockingjay, part two. And be free. You are not bound by the... Uh... The... <laughs> Be as the Mockingjay, part two, and fly away. You are no longer bound to this mortal plane. Go beast mode? That's way better than what I just said. Gracias, Cupid. I shall channel my inner Mockingjay and soar away from this heartbreak. Time to confront Alejandro with my fiery passion. Alright. Cupid has spoken, Rosalina. Rosalinda? Your heart now dances with a minotaur named Beast. As the Mockingjay Part 2 is revealed, I must fly away from this misery, Alejandro. Our love was a fiery tamale, but Hello. now it is cold. You dare compare our love to a tamale gone cold, Rosalinda? This is unforgivable. Our passion will be like firework, a fireworks show in the and desert. The what the fuck? I can't read this shit. It goes too fast. Um, It's time to bid you adios. Nah. A Telenova rerun? Rosalinda, how could you? Our love was a grand opera, a symphony of passion. But alas, this is your final decision. Then so be it. You're oh, the one that broke hell. up with her. May your heart find the hot chili pepper it seeks while mine flies like the Mockingjay. This is the end of our spicy saga. The Mockingjay part two. The Mockingjay part two, that is. Another one bites the dust. Hey, Flavu. I'm Spanish. This is so funny. It's like they took the book of life and made it off that. <laughs> it's pretty good. I, li I like this game. It's so, it's very clever. Like just using AI in general. It's just, it's so entertaining. I don't know what I prefer. I think I prefer the vampire one so far. Yo, man, I think for the 12 months. Oh my God. That's a whole year. That is crazy. 12 months. Yeah, that's a year. <laughs> just wanted to say your content is consistently so good. Oh, do amanda thank you so much i really appreciate it damn 12 months let's get some w's for amanda thank you so much for your uh your constant support and 12 months of it too that's crazy this is how ai should be used it's a tool to entertain not to steal exactly right exactly exactly right now there's only two more couples to break up only two more god we need... I feel like we need a different... Well, uh, should we just... Hmm. What's this one? Security uniform? What's this? A therapist. All right, let's be a therapist one more time. Hmm. Carol? Now let's break up Mr. Gatsby. Hello, 
Well, 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 look at you. Dapper therapist crashing our soiree. Welcome, welcome. Let's keep it light, shall we? Light as a feather, Mr. Gatsby, you know me. <laughs> Tell me, how's the, how's the wife going? Oh, the lovely Daisy. She's a vision as always. You know how it is, therapist. A whirlwind of beauty and mystery. But enough about me. Tell me more about your work. I work in the field of mental health, specifically the part of the brain that deals with love. I heard what you did to Mr. Darcy, oh, you yeah. monster. <laughs> what did I what did I diagnose him with Ligma? <laughs> Angie, thank you for the five dollars. Mental health, you say? How intriguing. Love is quite the enigma, isn't it? I reckon you must come across all sorts of fascinating tales in your line of work. Tell me. Have you ever encountered a love as grand as the one between Daisy and me? Oh, I have. I have encountered quite a few that have shared many parallels, such as the love between yourself and Daisy. <laughs> my, my therapist, you truly have a way with words. It warms my heart to hear that that others have experienced love as exquisite as ours. Please do share more about these parallel tales of love. I'm all ears. Angie, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Get some W's for Angie. That's, that's so good. Oh my God. That's gotta be, that's gotta be at least half the chat that is members now, surely. Oh my God. All right, who got them? The Foolish Cat, Lorcan, uh, Builder Master, Sicarius and uh, uh, Daryan, da, Dari, Darina. Why did I struggle to read that so much? I don't know. It's late. Okay. It's late guys. All right. That was not a hard thing to pronounce, but it's late. Okay. It's like 11 o'clock. You gotta cut me, cut me some slack. Cut me some slack. Um, Okay, so, uh, you okay. It warms my heart to hear that others have experienced a love as exquisite as ours. Please do share more about these parallel tales of love. I'm all ears. Oh, they all start good. Oh. Well, they all start good, but, uh, like every good story, they all end in tragedy. Whoa. Tragedy, you say? Oh, therapist. You paint a somber picture, but fear not, for Daisy and I are cut from a different cloth, destined for eternal happiness. Our love shall prevail against any odds that dare oppose it. Yeah, that's what the others said too. But life's a bitch, and things don't always work out the way you want them to. Ah, <laughs> oh, therapist, your words hit harder than the glass hitting the marble floor at one of my parties. Perhaps it's time I face the music and penned a letter to Daisy for the sake of our well-being. Thank you for your insight. Bro, I did nothing. I just said life's a bitch. All right. Darling Daisy, our love was like a roaring 20s party, dazzling at the surface but empty underneath. Okay. It's time for me to sail on my way. <laughs> sail away on my yacht of self-discovery without you by my side. Wow. All right. This is fucking... That's crazy. Where is she? This one? Oh, yeah, Daisy. Hello. How could Jay do this to me? What should I do next? You should um, divorce him. You were married, weren't you? You should just take him for fucking everything he has. You should take him for that yacht he's going to sail away on. That'd, that'd piss him off. Hello. You're right, therapist. I'll show him who's boss and I'll take him for everything he's worth. Thank you for your brilliant advice. Yeah. Yeah, I've really heard that's that's a great way to handle breaking up with someone. Um, just fucking taking them for everything. <laughs> you know, Daisy, I've had enough of your shallow ways and materialistic mindset. I'm breaking it off with you. Oh, please, Gatsby. You think you can just walk away from me? I won't let you get away with this. <laughs> Try and stop me, Daisy. I've done with the unnecessary drama and your constant need for attention. It's over. <laughs> Fine, Gatsby. I never need you anyway. I have plenty of wealthy suitors waiting for me. Good riddance. Wow, I want to have fun. Enjoy your shallow existence, Daisy. 
I'll find someone who appreciates me for who I am, not just my fancy parties and wealth. Yeah. Whatever, Gatsby. I'll find someone better than you in no time. Good luck with your cheap illusions of grandeur. Bye. Man, I have a story about um, a guy I used to work with that got divorced. <laughs> Crazy. So when I was still an electrician, okay, this is a quick story time before the final, um, the final divorce, the final breakup. So I worked, um, I was an apprentice and I worked at like a bunch of different companies because my apprenticeship company was like, like a almost like labor hire so like you do your apprenticeship through like a place that then hires apprentices out to places that need an apprentice it's fucking it's dumb it's shit but anyway i worked with this guy come on come here where you going come here buddy ah little frank so i worked with this guy for maybe like a month probably the worst placement that i did the entire time i was working like did my apprenticeship and um he was a one-man band which meant he owned his own company and i only worked with him he sucked but um just to introduce what he was like the first five minutes i was with him i'm not even i'm not kidding i'm not exaggerating the first five minutes i introduced myself i say hi i'm jackson he says hi is i can't remember what his name was let's just call him uh i actually do remember his name um oh fuck it i'm just gonna say his name was michael <laughs> okay he does more streams um this dude's name was michael and 50 50 year old dude um and i introduce myself he introduces himself we get in the car and we start driving to this like hospital we were working at this hospital together and he goes first thing he asked me Oh, so Jackson, do you have a missus? And I'm like, um, like at the time I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. I do. And he was like, oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I've got a girlfriend and I was like, cool. It's kind of weird. Like hearing like a 50 year old guy say he's got a girlfriend. So I was like, oh, whatever. But I was like, oh, cool. Cool, dude. That's nice. He's like, yeah. Yeah. I used to be married. But, uh, yeah, we got divorced a couple years ago. <laughs> I'm, this, I've known this guy five minutes and this guy is already just dropping bombs like this. And I was like, cool. I was like, fuck that. That's, uh, that sucks, dude. That really, that really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. And he's like, yeah, it's whatever. She's a fucking bitch anyway. And then proceeds to tell me that, okay, so his, his family is quite is like almost like one of australia's like first settlers or something like that so they owned quite a bit of land and his dad died and gave him the house that he lives in it was like the family house he literally like his great grandfather like built this house or something it's in a really nice area in brisbane as well as a farm and a building okay this his family owns a building right Anyway, his dad dies, leaves this stuff in the will, and then his wife divorces him and tries to take all of this stuff that his dead dad left him in the divorce. And um, and then he proceeds to tell me about his messy divorce proceedings for the next like 20 minutes. And he's like, yeah, I had to get the house evaluated and I, have to, I had to pay her out half the house. I had to put the farm in my brother's name so she wouldn't take it and she tried to take my building as well and um and then just like for the rest of like you know the drive to this like hospital was just telling me about like how horrible like marriage is and and all this and how horrible his ex-wife was <laughs> and all this stuff and he's like yeah and she didn't even want the kids she just like took the money and left and i was like damn that fucking sucks but anyway at first i felt bad for him because i was like damn that's that's rough dude like you know, that's so, your fucking dad gave you this house. Last everlasting reminder of him and the person you were married to tries to take it from you. That's really fucked up. That is really messed up. And like, anyway, just shit, just a shit situation. And I would totally understand if she wanted to keep the kids. I understand she should probably have the house totally. But anyway, divorce politics. That's not what we're here for. Um, we're here for the story. 
And at first I felt bad for him. But over the month working for this guy, I'm going to say it, fucking deserved it. Honestly, probably one of the worst people I've ever met. <laughs> such a terrible person to work with and such a boring, boring guy. Dude would talk in a monotone voice and just say the most random shit and it was so fucking annoying working for him. And straight up, deserved. Honestly, I would take everything from him too. He, he fucking sucked. He actually made my life a hell. He nearly killed me at work. And I called up my work, my, um, the, the fucking apprenticeship labor hire company. And I was like, Hey, nearly died today. This fucking guy nearly fucking killed me. And they were like, Oh, well too bad. You, you still have to work there. So sorry. So suck my balls. Hate that guy. I hate that labor hire company that I did my apprenticeship through. Hectic. Hectic. Literally, literally nearly fucking killed me. One of the, on the, like the first week I was working for him, he nearly killed me with electricity. Fuck that guy. <laughs> what did he make me do? So, um, I was a first year apprentice. So it's like partially, I would say, I would say it's partially my fault. But it, at the same time, it's it's completely his fault. He's the tradesman. He should have known better. Um, he told me to connect um, uh, a circuit together for an air conditioning unit that we were installing. And he said that he'd turned off the, the line that I was hooking up. He said he'd turned off the cable and it was all good to hook up. And, you know, I could go ahead and do it. And so I go downstairs and I start hooking it together and I test it with my volt stick, which doesn't detect uh, low voltage. So it detects like 48 volts, 240 volts, but low voltage is obviously under that. So I'm like, I like test the lead. It says that it's dead. So my fault, I should have used a volt, like a multimeter, which is what they, they do tell you to do, but no one fucking carries one in real life. No one carries one. And also, I'm a first year. I've been literally been an, elect, like, been an apprentice for like maybe two months. Um, at this point, maybe three months. I don't know what I was doing. So he told me it was dead. I trusted him. Anyway, I start working on it. And then he comes downstairs and he's like, I'm, I'm holding the cables with about this much copper that I've stripped. I'm holding the cable in one hand, my pliers in the other. And this guy's like sees that I'm holding his cable and he's like, oh, oh, he's like, holy fuck. He's like, put the fucking, put the cables like, oh my God, those cat the, the electricity's still on. The cables are still live. And I was like, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? They're, they're still live. And he's like, the, oh, like the fucking power's still on. Like, oh my God, like fuck. And he's starting to freak out and I'm sitting there. I'm on like a 12 foot ladder in this hospital, like in this fucking hospital that's being, um, renovated like it wasn't even it was like a new wing that they were putting on and i'm holding cables in one hand pliers in the other and i'm like what do you want me to do like just tell tell me what to do then because i don't want to fucking die right now and he's oh fucking oh i don't know just 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 like cut the cables cut the cables and so i was like okay all right i'll, I'll cut the cables um and he's like don't touch them don't touch them or you'll fucking die so i was like all right cool and I have the pliers and as I go down to cut the cable, the copper from the wires, as I like put it down like that to, to then like snip it, the, the fucking wires touch the side of this air conditioning duct and just sparks just start flying everywhere. And I was like, oh fuck! And then just like cut these cables really quickly. I was like, holy shit! Like fucking sparks went everywhere. I was like, Pff. I was like, whoa! And like, cut these things he was freaking out and then i get off the ladder and then he just spends the next 20 minutes just like grilling me out just being just being like oh you should have like why would you connect them at the the j box and not connect them at the air conditioner first and then the j box all this shit and i was like why the fuck does that matter which like which end i connected it from because 
you told me they were dead. So regardless, I would have got to the J box anyway and been connecting them and they would have still been fucking live. Like, why are you getting angry at me for your mistake? And he full on just like berated me for ages and ages, dude. And um, anyway, that guy sucks. And then for like, just the whole time I worked with him, he just, he just sucked. He just, he was so shit. Like he, he had this like switchboard open and he had the, the escutcheon off, which is like the, the metal plate that like, you know, like when you open up your switchboard, you've got all your switches and then there's like a plate that protects, you can't see what's behind it. So that was off. So you could see the cables and he's looking for this circuit and I'm behind him and I was like, oh, it's that one there. And I point at it. Still, I will note here, still probably a meter away from the actual circuit. But I like just point, I'm like, oh, th th that's the circuit there. And he full on just like loses it. He's like, he's like, oh, don't put your fingers anywhere near the, the, the switchboard. Like, this is all live. Like, you could fucking, you could die right here. Okay. You know, you don't point, you don't point at the fucking circuits. All right. This is, this is real serious stuff. You don't fuck with this. Blah, blah, blah. And just like starts getting really angry at me and like getting me in trouble for, he literally asked where the circuits were. Full on berates me. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, you asked me where they were and I pointed them out. Like, what do you want from me? Like, that's not my fault. You're a fucking, you're an idiot. And then, um, and then he's like, later on in the day, like towards the end of the day, he's like, oh, look, sorry for, um, for losing it at you before. Like, um, um, sorry, but. I used to work for Energex, which is like the power lines company, like the company that distributes the power everywhere. It's like, I used to work for Energex and you know, I was a sort of some bad things happened when I was working there. And I was like, oh, okay. All right. That makes sense. Like obviously someone's died that he's been under the watch of or something like that. Like, okay, that's fair enough that he's like acting like this. Dragon Miss Shorts, thank you for the 199, dude. I appreciate it. I'm glad you like the skits. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, so someone's died. And so he starts telling me this story, and he's like, when I was working at Energex, uh, we were working at this um, at this substation, and we turned it all off and isolated it, and we were pulling everything apart, and we were cleaning it, and um, and lunchtime was called, right? So everyone went off for Smoko. And one of the apprentices decided, you know what? I finished Smoko early. I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to keep working. But little did he know that the power had actually been turned back on. And so he went to start cleaning contacts at a substation or some shit and fucking blew his arms off and died. So he told me this story and I was like, shit, okay. All right, well, that's fair enough. Like, I totally understand why you are so, you know, anal about that. Because if I had to witness something like that, I would be pretty anal too. And he goes, oh no, like I didn't know him. Like this, this is just a story that happened while I was working at Energex. I, I wasn't involved in it at all. And I was like, that doesn't fucking count. Oh my God, that doesn't count at all. That's fucking so dumb. You can't use that as an excuse, you little gaslighter. What do you mean? Oh, I fucking heard a, a million stories about people dying to electricity. I didn't use that as an excuse. What, are you kidding me? And yeah, dude, full on just trying to, I don't know, like manipulate me or make me feel guilty for him. Mate, shut the fuck up. That's why your wife divorced you, man. I bet it didn't even happen the way you were explaining it, dude. By the sounds of it, you liar. You're a little fucking liar. Anyway, that's why I hate that guy. Anyway, that and, and that's... Anyway... He got divorced, fucking deserved it. He also played in a band and was like telling me that he was like, yeah, you should come see my band. No, bro. You were fucking boring as shit. Fuck no. He was trying to get me to, rather than doing electrical work, he was trying to get me to come to his farm with him. And he was trying to convince my electrical company to let them, uh, to like let him bring me to his farm to brand cattle for two weeks. And, they, and my company was obviously like, no, that's fucking stupid. Like, what does that have to do with electrical? Because when you do an apprenticeship, you've got to tick off, you know, every week you got to fill out this form, which is like, I worked 20 hours with this cable, blah, blah, blah. Because you got to get a certain amount of hours in each, you know, part of the electrical trade. And they're like, what can he tick? 
branding fucking cattle that has nothing to do with electrical. And then he was explaining it to me and he's like, yeah, you know, it'll just be a good experience for you. You know, blah, blah. No, I don't want to brand cattle for two weeks. First of all, you're creepy, dude. I do not trust myself with you. 18 year old me with you, a 50 year old man on a farm for two weeks. I will, I would get molested for one. I'd come back with a brand of my own. Two, I don't want anything to do with a cattle farm. I do not want to brand these cattle. Okay. That's your fucking prerogative, dude. If you want to brand cattle, you do that. I don't want anything to do with it. I came here to be an electrician, not a farmer. Fuck off. Anyway, that guy sucked. I haven't, sp I haven't, si I haven't told that story in years, but oh, it all comes back up. It all comes back up when I talk about it. Fuck, that guy sucks. Oh, anyway. Also, I met his sister once, bro. His sister looks exactly like him. Talks exactly like him. It was really weird. Anyway, and I got a little bit of joy because he spent uh, like $50 each on dimmers, light dimmers. Uh, for his sister's house and he installed them and they all did not work and he wasted a bunch of money and it was really awesome to see i was like let's go fuck you let's go fuck you <laughs> fucking hated that guy he was trying to like he was trying to like you know guilt like be to me he was, he was trying to like say to me he's like you know yeah if you like really impress me you know like i'll keep you your whole apprenticeship all this sort of shit and i was like fuck off <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to work with you man so i purposely i tried i tried so hard to get out of there and i finally did oh god that guy sucked that's how people get kidnapped and end up working at a brick factory in dagestan as slaves jesus yeah, no, straight up. I was like, I don't, I do not trust that guy. There's no way I would be on a farm with him for like two weeks. Like, and I'm not even just saying that being like, oh, I'd probably get molested as like an easy joke. That guy genuinely gave me the creeps and I would not be on a farm with him alone for two weeks. Fuck no. Uh, no, thanks. No, thank you. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> Well, hello there. Welcome to the Valentine party, sugar. Let me know if you need anything. I've got snacks, hugs, a whole lot of love to give. Oh, Carol, I can tell you're a good person. But there are other people at this party that aren't so good. Ear tags commonly fall out, but brands can't be removed or changed. Yeah, no, totally. I get why people brand cattle. I just, why, the, why would I want to do that when I'm, I signed up for an electrical trade? I get, I get branding for sure, for sure. But yeah, I don't know about, I don't, I don't know about doing it myself. <laughs> oh, my sweet, sweet therapist friend. Why, why, why do you say that? Is there someone here causing trouble? Tell me everything, honey. Mama Carol will take care of it. Oh, Carol, I wish it was, I wish it were as easy as that. But I don't know if I want to worry your precious little beautiful ears with such terrible things. I don't know. No, Jackson doesn't like branding, Tom. Jackson doesn't like branding. <laughs> I don't want to brand anyone. Uh, will you ever play Subnautica again? Maybe get scared a bit, kill a Reaper Leviathan, get Andrew on stream. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I've kind of finished the game, so I don't know why I would go back to play them. But maybe. Maybe one day. Never say never, you know? Um... Oh, sugar, you can tell Mama Carol anything. Don't worry one bit. I can handle anything. Just let it out, dear. We'll figure something out together. Well, it's something that Homer did. Uh, forgive me for speaking out of line, but I don't think he's a good person. I'll play Subnautica 2 when it comes out. Oh, dear. Homer, are you sure, sugar? Mama Carol, what? Tell Mama Carol what happened. Don't you hold back now. We'll get to the bottom of this together, I promise. <sighs> well, as you know, Halloween was not very long ago, and when some kids were trick-or-treating, I saw Harold, uh, Homer egg them. Is that going to work? I don't know. Hello. 
Oh, my stars. That's not like Homer at all. Are you absolutely certain, darling? Did you see with your own eyes? Oh, I did. I did see it with my own eyes. In fact, I was one of the little kids that got egged. Oh my goodness, sweetie. I'm so sorry that happened to you. That's not right at all. I need some time to process, but thank you for telling me. Mama Carol will figure this out. He also wanted me to come to his farm and brand cattle with him, but I don't, I don't think that's right at all. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! No! That's not acceptable behavior at all. I cannot stand for that kind of disrespect towards you or anyone else. I need to take action. It's time for Marvel Carol to have a serious talk with Homer. Yeah! I'm sorry, but I just... I just can't be with someone who thinks it's okay to egg children on Halloween and wants to brand cattle for fun. I need to... <laughs> no one said anything about fun, but he did seem like he was going to have a lot of fun branding cattle for two weeks. I need someone who cares for others, not someone who just worries all day. Take care of yourself. What should I do next? I can't believe Carol landed things because, because she thinks I worry too much and egg children on her. <laughs> you should start dating a girl 20 years your junior and, and grow your hair out and start a band. And be a loser. I'm not sure that's the best advice. I think I'll just go talk to Carol and apologize for my behavior. Whatever, loser. <clears throat> I can't believe you, Homer. Egging children during Halloween, that's unacceptable and wrong. Well, Carol cares. Maybe if you weren't so uptight and controlling, I wouldn't have to blow off steam like that. Uptight and controlling? Excuse me, Homer. I care about others and have values, unlike you. Oh yeah? Well, I got some advice, Carol cares. I'm gonna go date a girl 20 years younger, grow my hair out, start a band, and be a loser. Dating someone younger won't change the fact that you're a mess, Homer. Good riddance. And your band of misfits. To you and your band of misfits. Fine by me, Carol. I'll find someone who appreciates my wild side and my band. You'll see what you're missing out on. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah! I broke everybody up. Heartbreaker, congratulations, Heartbreaker. With unmatched cunning and a quiver full of mischievous arrows, you've successfully sown discord uh, among the love struck. Your talent for turning sweet nothings into sours some things is unparalleled. I don't know why I struggle to read. It's only on stream. <laughs> Thanks for playing the Suck Up Valentine event. Quit to desktop. Yeah! How good was that, everybody? We did it. We we beat the game. We uh we beat the game. I think I had I I had a lot of fun. I think the vampire one is is a maybe a little bit more of a fun concept to do. I think breaking up with the AI, like making the AI break up is a bit of a weird one. I feel like you get put on tracks a little bit where you've got to like make them trust you and you can kind of just say the same thing over and over to make them trust you. Um, and then come up with something to like make them break up. But I, th I found the vampire one, like inviting you in. It was always something new, like always a new thing you had to come up with or like outsmart the AI a little bit, a little bit more. So I, I like, I liked that. I liked that event and I thought it was still really, really good, but I definitely think, still think my favorite is suck up the vampire one. That was, that was really fun. I really liked it. Um, but yeah, thank the creator of, of course. Well, thank you creator for creating such a, an amazing game, such a unique game too. I really enjoy playing them. So I'm really excited to see where this game goes and, and where the next, whatever the next challenge is or anything like that. But, um, yeah, we beat the Valentine's day one. Yeah. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see where they go. It'd be cool if they do more like stuff similar to the vampire one or even just like more vampire levels or something like that i don't know i really enjoyed it these ar games are some of my faves to see you play oh true well they, they're one of my some of my favorites to play on stream too so um okay guys well thank you all for watching i know it's only two hours 40 but i'm gonna head to bed this little guy is uh he's he's tired this little guy he wants to go to bed look at him
Look at him, he's knackered. Look at this. See? Not even phased by it. Now that's a tired, that's a tired little puppy doll. That's a tired little puppy doll. If I've ever seen one. Come here, come here, boy. Come here, boy. Okay. Okay. There we go. I know, I know. Would you like to say goodnight to everybody? Yeah. He's fucking, he's knackered. He's knackered, aren't you, mate? You want to go to bed? All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Thank you so much for all your support, as always. Check out the new YouTube video if you haven't seen it already. Um, check out the new short if you haven't seen it already. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next stream. I won't be streaming tomorrow um, because Izzy's band, Izzy is in a band that's playing. I'm going to see them play. But I will try and stream potentially Monday. So join the Discord if you don't, if you haven't already, and I'll keep you guys updated on the Discord. But anyway, hope you guys have a good night or a good day, wherever you guys are. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Say bye, Frank. Bye. Then we go to bed.